Hi! Howdy. Thank you, Dramor. Welcome to Tuesday. First time chat from Ham and Cheese? I feel like I've seen your name before. I don't think that's your first time chatting. I don't know how you got that to activate. <laughs> that's wild. Dicks for Fob was crazy. That shit was like WarioWare. Yeah. Yeah, it was a mess. They said they liked it though, so we're getting paid. So we're good. The issue now is uh, YouTube's in trouble because I was supposed to record two videos on, on Sunday and I recorded zero videos on Sunday. And now here we are. Hello, claimers. Hello, everybody claiming for your free sub. Welcome, welcome. It crashed your stream live and they liked it? I, I assume they crashed my stream. I don't know what happened. My internet kept going out. It was either the internet or that. I don't know. Weird. Cody, you do this every stream. Giveaway subs every stream? I know. I'm just very generous and rich. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to Come Tuesday, because everyone comes to the stream. Why did I start this bit? It's so stupid. I just love the Come Tuesday video. It's very funny to me. I don't know why. <laughs> Come Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know why I like it. It's so stupid. Coney, I showed my friends the thumbnail to the How I Pwned a Kid's Birthday Party, and they can't stop laughing at the thumbnail. They have not watched it. It's not a good thumbnail, then. A thumbnail makes you click it. Are you not telling them to seek further information within? That's a view you're depriving me of. Help me out a little bit, man. Did you guys see that we, uh, we've inspired someone? Great news. Somebody won 20 star blindfolded. Can you believe it? Full 120 star without looking. You're welcome. Must have been my video. Bubsia. 11 hours. Good God, dude. <laughs> Again, maybe they were lying. They could be lying too. I didn't watch it. Who knows? Mario 64 Speedrunner beats the game in under 25 minutes with 31 stars. Is that news? Is this, is this article from, like, 2008? How do you get 28 star or 31 stars? I just stars? made a very bad life decision and yeah. got a 120 figure of pit, <sighs> so then I decided I would spend my money on something important like subbing and tipping kind. Yeah, how about you refund all of that and give it to me? Then I can buy a life-size replica of Pit. Why did I say life-size? A, a, a 120 figure of Pit. Why would you want a life-size... Oh, God. Okay, and there's the analyze. As soon as I said it, I just... God damn it. God, I knew chat was going to do this. Fate sealed. <laughs> Don't be weird. Please. Please. I don't... I meant a figure of it. 
I'm not even doing... Dude, I can't believe that Tifa statue is real, by the way. She never does that in the game, to my knowledge. This is insane. I saw this and I thought it was just a very good job in Blender. Hold on. And everybody knows what I'm talking about when I put Tifa statue into Google. Are you fucking kidding me? This doesn't happen in Final Fantasy VII. Oh, it's not official? Oh, okay. I assumed it was. <laughs> Maybe I'm just stupid. I just saw the the it looked I, I I saw everybody reporting on it and I thought it was real. It's the news media cycle. You know what I'm saying? There's a naked version of that statue you can buy. I'm not scrolling any further down. I almost did. All right, I'm glad it's not real. I'm glad that Square Enix did not endorse this. It's the same people who make the naked RE8 lady that people thought was real. That's... A th that's two? I didn't know that. I didn't know they made an RE8 one. Ugh. People are annoying, dude. You can never play the others from the pills you don't take. Pick one. I'm eating all three. I don't play any of these games. I'm just... This is my daily medication. Yuck. That's an overdose. Sweet release. Finally, escape from anime. Hey, you guys want to see something cool? Check this out. Someone made Slippy for Brawl. Well, not really. They're still working on it. Now... I became a patron immediately. Sort of for Brawl, but more for the other game. Uh, just so you guys know, there was a shift in the stream a long time ago. I used to be a PM streamer. And uh, I had a very good time, and I had to drop that. My first love. Uh, but, you know... Might, uh, might get another opportunity soon. We'll see. You said the forbidden name. Dude, I never got why people got so weird about PM. I, like, at tournaments, everybody's saying, like, Voldemort. And so, it's so stupid. Like, I, I feel like that was worse than anything else. Well, that wasn't worse than anything else that happened. But it was pretty shitty, right? Why did people make it all weird, you know? It was dumb. Dude, check this out. This is so cool. I have so much stuff to go through tonight. We have two things. Oh my god, thank you, E. Compton. Oh, oh no, god damn it. I was gonna say, we got over 2,700 again. And then it fucking decayed. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Hey, if you guys got primes, please use them, because I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking zombie out here. It hurts. Um, we've got two things planned. And, uh, if some of them don't go well, uh, I have a nuclear option I will activate tomorrow. <laughs> Something that I, I, I hope not to do, but I may need to. So, you'll see. Dude, check this out. This is so cool. Melee Guesser. This is so cool. Who is the Marth? This is so cool. 
I don't know Kadorim. That's the only person I know that plays Marth. Got it. See, I think there's an issue here because Nintendo plays Ices and Peach. Cobalt plays Fox. I don't know Reeve, but Rishi plays Marth. Oh, okay, so Reeve also plays Marth. Got it. Sure. Who's the Falco? The only two I know are Magi and Mango. A lot of down air spam. That that looks like a mango. That's a mango play. Who's the fox? I know all of them except Nikki. That looks like IBDW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty good at this, bro. Who's the Marth Kadoran again? Oh, am I getting cycled? Okay, well, okay, well, anyway, this whole game is like, you pick them, and you pick who it is. Uh, I'm pretty good at this. I don't know who Rocky is. This looks like a fiction. Yeah. <laughs> I just, yeah when I saw, like, the standing still into the forward tilt, I'm like, that's a fiction champ. Dash attacks. Lots of dash attacks. That's not a plup. That's a shroomed. Bro, what the fuck? Look at this. Look at this. I'm pretty good at this, dude. Who's the fox? I don't know any of these players. I don't know any of those players, unfortunately. Who's the Falco? That was a very basic Falco combo. Magi, okay. The only two I knew were Albert and Ma Magi. Who's the Falco? You know what's interesting here? I don't see Mango using this many forward tilts. That's Albert, yeah. <laughs> or up tilts. I can't see that many up tilts from Mango. He would have gone crazy. If it's Dare Spam, it's Bobby. Oh, Shines? Oh my god, this is good. That was really cool. Bobby. Albert. That was really cool. That was a fun game to watch. 21%? What? I got way more than that. Huh? Oh, every time you get one, you get... Okay. Got it. So every time you get one, you gain points. Dude! I'm pretty good at this. So I saw this the other day. Because, of course, somebody put in the, the panda group, Hey, should our players do this? And I said, No. <laughs> It's melee, but it is cool. And then I was like, hey, what if there was an ultimate one? And then I realized the ultimate one would be awful. Why is this music so sad? The ultimate one would be so bad because there's only one player of every character except for, like, Palutena or Roy. Right? Like, if I saw Luigi on the screen, it's like... Or Rob, yeah. It's like Kia Rash or Elegant. That's it. You can't really do that. You can't do this same thing. Name the Rob. Impossible. Unless it does side B. There's like one player of each character. That's the issue. So. I feel like you couldn't get this done. Sadly. It's a cool idea though. All right. We're going to do two things tonight. Two, uh, two, two scheduled segments. I don't know what else is going to happen. I've got some stuff to watch and some prizes to win. Coney, you could maybe do one for Rivals of Aether. Rivals of who? Who of what? I'm kidding. I love Dan. Let's play Hurdle. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is stupid. Dude, Blue, Blue Oyster Cult were just playing in Columbia. Like, Mal and I went to Columbia Mall in Maryland on Saturday. And she said Blue Oyster Cult was there. And I was like, does that make me happy or sad? Right? Like, 
happy that they're still together and playing, but also kind of sad that, like, I don't know. I, I don't know how to put it. Like, you're still doing what you love and traveling, but, like, they've got to be, like, 50s or 60s now. Do they want to, like, retire? Did they fuck all their money away? You know what I'm saying? At a mall? No. <laughs> it was at Meriwether Post Pavilion, which is, like, a very famous venue in Maryland. It's, it's a huge thing in Columbia. But still... They're in their 70s? Hold on. No way, right? <laughs> Is Blue Oyster Cult a cult? But the cult of cult. <laughs> this is stupid. So they, oh my god, they started in 1967. So let's say they were 20 and 67, so they're in their 40s now. Let's say they all started when they were 20 years old, 1947. Which means they're what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, 75? 70-something? Uh. Jeez, dude. I don't know. It's sad. But again, maybe they're really happy, right? Like, they... It says they never broke up. Maybe they're really happy doing what they love. Who the fuck am I to judge, right? Mick Jagger is still performing and dancing like a maniac. Yeah, but he's like... He's going to be coked up till the day he dies. There's something called sleep debt, where if you don't sleep enough uh, on the weekdays, you sleep way more on the weekend to try to catch up. He's like that, but his body will constantly be trying to flush out cocaine for the rest of his life. He will always have, like, residue. You know what I mean? His brain is filled with soot. Methinks thou doth... Uh, protest that thou don't fear the Reaper too much. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying, right? I don't know. It doesn't seem like they fear the Reaper. Well, who can say, right? Maybe they're trying to convince themselves more than us. Yesterday, this was uh, No Country for Old Men, and I got it in two. Uh, don't know. Oh, a French movie? <laughs> I do not know any. Is it Les Mis? Oh, perhaps. The French Connection? Uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame? What the hell is this? <laughs> uh, is it Les Mis? No fucking way. <laughs> I should have guessed it! I should have known right away! The greatest French movie! The third French movie ever! Sacre bleu! Hugh Jackman! I can't believe that, dude. As soon as I saw French writing, I should have known. Also, police! That movie's got a lot to do with cops. Coney is a weeaboo. Oh, that's funny. That's a really good one. There's Kangaboo, that weeaboo, Koreaboo. Oh, that's a good one. Tiaboo for Britain. <laughs> There's a lot of good ones. Damn. That's really funny. Siaboo for Spanish? I don't like that one as much. I don't really like that one. Freeaboo is US. Right, that's what it was. It was a freeaboo. That's the one. Got it. All right. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. God, I have so much stuff I want to do tonight. Um. God. All right. First off. The first thing I wanted to look at was uh, apparently, and we could skip through this. I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to watch the whole thing exactly, but there's a new Evil Dead game coming out, and it's out on Friday. And I was sort of following it because, like, is it a is it a Left 4 Dead game? Is it a Jason game? Like, Jay's Friday the 13th or whatever. I'm just trying to catch up with this and see what it is. 
Wait, what is this? What's going on up here? Go away. What the fuck? Why is that up there? How do I make that go away? Ash Williams and the rest of the Evil Dead gang haven't been... What the fuck happened? Why is that up there? Zoom in? What? <laughs> it won't go away. Turn off annotations. What? I don't think... Resurrected to start it didn't it. fix it. That was so weird. What happened? YouTube's never done that to me. Ash Williams and the rest of the Evil Dead gang haven't been re resurrected to star in a video game since 2005's Evil Dead Regeneration. Yuck. But that's all about to change when S Mart's top of the line returns on fittingly Friday the 13th next month. Dude, this just looks like Friday the 13th. Is this by the same devs? Is this the same thing? I feel like it was, right? I remember hearing that. Friday this the looks 13th exactly the same. In the aptly named Evil Which Dead I loved. I loved that game. After so. playing it, it's clear that the new Evil Dead game draws heavily from the survival-focused shooting and looting established in the Left 4 Dead series, in addition to the character-centric, oh, skill-based horror survival of Dead by Daylight. Series, that's in addition weird. To the character warrior, oh, leader, warrior, hunter, support. What? Trick, skill based horror survival of Dead by Daylight. This monster mashup certainly nails the right beats for frenetic fun between friends and at launch. Now, wait, they the became a tree? <laughs> out of the box crossplay for all modern Xbox You can possess a tree? As well as the Epic Game Store. That's kind of cool. This looks kind of dead by daylighty. I hate dead by daylight, so I hope not. only about 20 to 30 minutes, and it concludes when the party secures and defends the map's Necronomicon after clearing a series of objectives, like okay. fending off the Dark Ones with your very own Kandarian Dagger. If you have no clue what any of that means, that's perfectly fine. Evil Dead the game does a great job of explaining what everything is via its comprehensive tooltips. Okay. A single map can sling the party from point of interest to point of interest before the clock lapses to zero. But don't let the user-friendly UI convince you to I, let your guard down. There dude, are more than just. I literally can't tell what's happening road. in this game. And like, that can be a problem if you happen to jump like, over one of the many possible jump scare traps. Like my brain can't. Like my brain is trying to put this in a box, right? Where it's like it's just this. But there's like multiplayer. It's like Dead by Daylight, but it's not though, because you're moving through an area. Like, place to place. In Dead by Daylight, you're in this giant, like, running... Uh, you're in, like, a field, right? Trying to activate generators. You're, like, in a big, big plane or something. Looks so boring. Yeah, I'm not really into this. They're jump yes, scares? Yes, you heard me right. Possible jump scare traps. Yes, you heard me right. There are jump scare traps in Evil Dead the game. It's kind of annoying. Going hand in hand with these jump scares, if your fear gauge gets too high, you might just find yourself shooting at your teammates under the Kandarian demon's demonic influence. Which is to ah. say, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. So it's like a but sanity hey, meter worry, thing. You'll probably be fine if you stick with your group. Speaking of shooting your teammates, Evil Dead the game sounds like it'll feature he more than enough range and melee weapons to stuff down a Deadite's maw. Swallow this. Equaling approximately 25 at launch, and that's including survival horror classics like the machete and the crossbow. 25 at launch, and that's. Why did he do that? This doesn't hurt the skeleton. It's including survival horror classics like the machete and the crossbow. Just take Series off the head. Chris will be satisfied to discover that Ash's boomstick and chainsaw Literally rip are off the head, well. bro. That said, melee combat feels most satisfying when you manage to nail a finishing move on Jesus, a Jesus! And since ammo is so limited, donk, you'll donk. spend plenty of time in kissing range of the Army of Darkness. Aside from doing battle against the possessed hordes, you and your party will spend plenty of time scavenging for loot, including the special skill-enhancing Pink F, which is used to upgrade your skills I'm and abilities it, while bro. on the field. I don't like this. For instance, you can invest your Pink F points into resisting fear or increasing your melee weapon effectiveness until the match ends. How are you going to get three other friends to play this. You know? I feel like this is going to be really hard to get friends to join in. Streamer game? I don't know. Like, this, this is one of those games I feel like you can't play with random people. Because it just wouldn't be fun.
But if you can't play it with random people, you got to play it with people you know, and then you got to get everybody to buy it. I mean, if it's a streamer game, that's fun. Maybe you could role play it, whatever. I loved Friday the 13th. That was one of my favorite games that year. Um, I need to make more yearly wrap ups like I did the past, like, the two years before I was a streamer. Um, I, I love Friday the 13th. I thought it was very good. This one. There are I don't 13 know. members of this cast brought together. Bro, two ashes? Can you do that? <laughs> Together by all I want to be Ash. Movies, plus the 2015 TV comedy spinoff, Ash vs. Evil Maybe Dead, be Kelly. and they're divided up between four classes. Leader, Warrior, Hunter, and Support. Each character has a distinct Wait a set. minute. Leader. Are these all Ashes? There are four Ashes. Okay. <laughs> I see. Got it. I'm pretty sure that's an Ash there, too. Too many ashes. Warrior, hunter, and support. Each character has a distinct set of abilities Lord within their Arthur. overarching <laughs> class. Cheryl Williams, a support character, That's can lay fun. down a healing aura that restores the party's health, whereas the support version of Ash Williams can restore his own health with each heavy melee attack. I hope he got it paid four like times for this. It here to keep things interesting over several playthroughs. And it even seems like the leveling system, which is accessible from the collectibles menu, allows... Can I show that? for a significant degree of customization between skirmishes. Meanwhile, playing as the Kandarian Demon in Evil Dead the Game's PvPvE mode is way more Coney hates it. Yeah, I'm not into this so fun far. that it has any right to be, given that it rarely puts you in any kind of Don't direct really like combat it. engagement with the survivors. There's something to be said about pushing your opponents out I'd of the I'd rather play Friday the 13th from the looks. Dude, I was just saying that. I fucking love Friday the 13th. Count. That game's amazing. Everything costs a certain amount of a refillable resource pool. Like, this shit just has... T I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I used to love this shit, but, like, the whole uh, skill trees... Uh, my eyes just go sideways, especially when it's, like, 5% portal and proximity portal cost reduction. Just give me some cool shit, man. But if you play the map and your class's special you know? abilities just right, you can... Isn't Friday the 13th just a Dead by Daylight knockoff? No, 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 no. It's way better. Dead by Daylight is just tag. In Dead by Daylight, you're playing tag. The guy is trying to chase you, and you put down a block of wood and scurry away like you're a, one of the Three Stooges, and he has to, like, oh, he has to, like, come over to you. I fucking hate Dead by Daylight. In Friday the 13th, Jason is overpowered. You put the thing down, and he literally, like, will cr smash it and grab you. <laughs> he can teleport next to you. And people are like, oh, my God, it's so unbalanced. Yeah, he's, he's a fucking... A supernatural murderer. Of course it's unbalanced. The whole point is that he's going to kill you. If he wants to focus in on you, he will kill you. In Dead by Daylight, you can focus on a survivor, and then they just fucking jump over the same panel of wood ten times in a row, and then hit one of these. Like, it's just not... I hate Dead by Daylight, bro. Outthink the four survivors. If you played Doom Eternal's online battle mode as a demon, this isn't too dissimilar from that. There are nine demons across in battle mode as a demon. This isn't too dissimilar from that. I thought that shit looked like Mario. I thought I thought this was Mario. I saw red and blue. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I didn't even look at his head. I just saw red and blue. I was like, oh, he's got the overalls and the shirt, you know? There are nine demons across My three bad. different classes. And they too can be leveled up from that. There are nine demons. They're like cool. demons across three different classes. I guess that's fine. Evil Dead's like silly, right? And they too can be leveled up. Well, at the end of the day, Evil Dead the game looks like it will deliver plenty of thrills through its co-op and PvPvE modes that pay homage to games like Left 4 Dead and Dead it. by Daylight, while interweaving its own twists inspired no by thanks. Sam Raimi's classic horror series. If you and your friends have been searching for a new haunt, this could be the groovy new survival horror game you've been waiting for when it releases next month. I'm kind of sad, bro. Oh, wait, this is next month? Oh, this came out all the way back in April. They just released more footage, but if it just looks like that, I don't really care. So, whatever. Um, uh, it's a pass. I'll see what people say. However... There's one more thing I wanted to watch. Hold on. Damn, this is a 10-minute Twitter video. There's new Gotham Knight footage. You know how much I love Bamham. I don't even know what game this is. 
Tony, you influenced me with Splitgate. That shit is mad fun. It seemed fun. Also known as Dick Grayson, midway through the Dick. game story <laughs> as he patrols our city. All of the knights can unlock heroic ways of getting around the city. Is this game multiplayer? I don't remember. For Nightwing, it's his glider, the flying trapeze. Watch it on YouTube. Yeah, actually, this quality is going to suck. Hold on. Arkham Knights gameplay. A uh, gameplay demo from DC. Okay. Real and today I'm really excited to share with you gameplay footage featuring Nightwing and Grayson midway through the game story as he patrols our city. Guys, don't don't say bald. Don't say bald. However. However, I did have my own thought. I didn't want to say it, and then you said it, and now I feel bad. I don't mean... It's stupid. Rude. Oh. I know, I didn't mean to, but like, come on. <laughs> right? <laughs> come on. This is Glider, the flying trapeze. The regulators gang are engaged in a That's definitely a Fortnite so glider. Yeah, that's true. Vigilante <laughs> justice to the bad people. <laughs> Each crime in Gotham Knights plays like a <laughs> <laughs> This is only funny if you've played the games. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you know what's happening here, it is so fucking funny. Okay, so the reason this is funny is bro just hit left click and it locked onto a guy he never saw and he tonight. jumps across the map. The guy wasn't even looking at him. He's just on the ground. He landed on the ground and left clicked and Dick Grace is like, I got it. Bro, the, I love Bam Ham so people. much. That dude was asleep under the generator. Each crime in Gotham Knights Boom. plays like a mini game <laughs> with rules and optional objectives. Nightwing's fighting style is acrobatic. Between I can see, yeah. What the fuck? While you can play it's like a figure skater, solo, bro. You can also protect Gotham and co-op with a friend. Here's Red Hood. Red Hood gained new abilities after being oh, he's magical. by an assassin cult. Here, he uses mystical leap to move across the roof. Wait, is Batman magical? I thought Batman was supposed energy. to be like grounded in reality, except for like Rachel Ghoul or whatever. Below. And timing my strikes and combos correctly makes it build faster. Once the bar is full, heroes can unleash powerful abilities. <laughs> Red Hood's ranged attacks are a little louder. He fires non lethal rounds that still do is that a lot of damage. No, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's a kind of a spoiler, right? Ah, Deadpool's barrage ability. Which I see you found my rooftop lair. <laughs> the UI you're seeing can be customized to your preferences. What's on screen is what I like. <laughs> but you can the UI you're seeing can be customized to your preferences. What's on screen is what I like. <laughs> but you can say the UI you're seeing can be customized <laughs> to your preferences. No look. Boom! <laughs> this game fucking kills me. Is it the? He didn't even look at him. What's on screen oh. is what I like. But Wait, did they say non-lethal? This is non-lethal, huh? He said it the way you like. These are all trank darts. He's shooting trank darts. Armor-piercing, non-lethal trank darts. Where's Nightwing going? Oh, get him! Cool. Only perfect attack, Nightwing. Crime resolved. I hate Nightwing, by the way. I hate this guy now. Non-lethal head stomp. Now that we've prevented the oh shit! This is nice. Data, let's follow Red Hood for a bit. You got like vehicles and stuff? This vehicle will be like three fourths of the game. Let's watch Did Red any of you guys play Arkham Knight? Was it called Arkham Knight? And now they're making Gotham Knight? Oh my god. Southside neighborhood. 
Arkham Knight was so funny because the one thing that they did different in that game where they were like, all right, we're going to add a Batmobile. And the Batmobile was the whole game. 60 hours of Batmobile. It was so funny, dude. Great. More shitheads to beat up. He was just driving constantly. What is this gameplay? This is clunky as hell. I mean, like it'll Red it'll can unlock the ability to attach a It's bomb probably to a points. player so skill issue. It with a shot later. It's a pretty but, good time. I don't know. This looks kind of muddy to me. Crime resolved. And I also don't really like the characters, right? Ah, the Spider-Man. I think Batman could do this too. Now we're back at the Belfry. The this is how they all looked? Yeah, but like, Batman came out a long time ago. Yeah, like, you gotta do something base. else. This next sequence. Is that Alfred? <laughs> from early in the game, he just looks sad. As we're just discovering the Court of Owls. The Bat Computer runs the map of the city. Okay. Again, the old powers club. Okay, so you can set game. spot. Players uh, find blueprints and crafting materials by taking on mission. Crafting, love crafting. At this point in the story, our characters are still processing the loss of Batman. What happened to Batman? You could visit him. I could what? He went to yours when. You could visit his grave. Ah, he's dead. Okay. Arkham Knight you ending? Oh, did he die in that game? I played that game and it didn't work for me. Oh, shit! Dude, the Fortnite glider's killing me. Coney, are you excited for the new Nick All-Stars character on Friday? I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. Belfry. Got anything it's gotta be like Jimmy Neutron, right? Or Rocco or whatever. We know who it is. We ha there's like that data mining, but it's still fun. According to the old poem, anyway. Court really is. Fingers crossed we'll learn. This looks so boring. I thought it was like a short thing, but you just court really is out there. They might be the ones gonna fly around the city all slow. Which means they've been getting away with murder for centuries. I hear you. Fingers crossed we'll learn more at the power I'd rather play as the other guy. He got the grapple hook. It's time for Nightwing to sneak into court territory. Okay. Then do it. Stealth is always an advantage. I'm in. Be careful. Let us know if you find anything. They have a few guards. Too, huh? I'm not complaining. This is nice the Arkham shit, right? So what do you think the poor bastard did? What poor bastard? Is this made by Rocksteady? Is this the same team? Poor bastard. No shot, no one sees him? Dude, okay. If somebody was on your ceiling right now, you wouldn't know. Humans don't look up. Because humans historically have not had natural predators from the air. Fact. It's true. Somebody could hide from you up high and you would never see them. If you came home, if you came home to your house and there was a man standing on your roof with like an anvil or a big piano, he could drop it on you and kill you and you wouldn't even see him. Every time that you're upstairs and you like are naked because you get out of the shower but your windows are open and you're like, oh, I hope nobody sees. Nobody ever looks up in those windows. Except for me, I do that sometimes because when I'm driving home, I'll look up at the lights in all the bedrooms and all of them have zoomer lights around the trim. But I've never seen a naked person. My grandpa always looked up after Vietnam. Uh, okay, well, you know, if you... If looking up was a matter of life and death, it might be a little different. Moves. Ambush strikes are faster than silent takedowns, but make more Good noise. Point. Augmented reality vision helps the heroes solve puzzles and investigate mysteries. AR shows a trail of blood. 
I don't know why the word mystery is so see. funny to me. I think because it usually pertains floor. to like murder or something, but I always think of like hatch is connected who's haunting kind of the network. old Ferris wheel, you There's know, like a, a Scooby Doo opening. type deal. Oh, they can double the black for the five gifts. Here we see Thank Nightwing's you. elemental shockwave ability. Thank you. It interrupts enemy armored attacks and deals elemental status effects. Try this. Cryostatus the word mystery is very funny. Out of the fight for a while. Couldn't he get a better weapon than a stick? Yeah, I don't like this guy, bro. Batman feels brutal, right? Batman, like, is working through trauma when he hits you. He's, like, breaking your elbow and shit. This guy is just, like, putting on a show, and you know? Done. Not really into this guy. This guy just does flips. A hidden staircase. That can't be good. Uncharted ass game. Oh, there we go. Yup. Bro is flipping. Dude, there is something so fucking funny about watching Bam Ham flips and glides and jumps in the year 2022. I don't know what it is. Something happened here. Like, I, I, they had to update it somehow. It's just... Literal faceless goons. Well, apparently that's on purpose. These are, like, owl guys. Batman hates owls. They're, like, a bad cult For or something. For anybody wondering how this fight looks with Red Hood, check this out. How do you feel about that in Spider-Man? Spider-Man came out five or four or five years ago. It's fun. I'm saying, are we still doing the Bam Ham gliding? You know, I just... Feels like something that would have been... I don't know. You don't even have to change it. You just have to make it look prettier. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine to still keep it in as a mechanic, because it is fun, but it just looks silly. Red shot him in the back. A Talon Gladiator here, one of the Court of Owls, engineered superhuman assassins. That guy's an assassin. He's a fucking warrior. That's Hora Lou. I. All right, he's a mini boss. Oh, did he get back up? Cool. Got him. Whoever this belongs to must be in bad shape. Better hurry. Which villain are they gonna add at the end of the trailer? The big owl. Big ass owl. There are so many cool Batman villains that I didn't even know existed. And all we ever get is Joker and Riddler. Come on. Wake up. Wait me. The fact that Batman is like so centered around like mental illness too and like trauma means you can have the most batshit characters <laughs> like a guy who loves dates. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Calendar Man. Yeah, that fucking guy. You could just make that shit up. There's another one. There's a bunch of those. Condiment King? Yeah, just like somebody who like, you know, had, had some really bad trauma as a kid that involved ketchup. And now like, I'm ketchup man, but I'm evil. There's a polka dot guy. There's a kite guy, big wheel. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It really is. I would love to live in that reality unless I was just like a civilian. Okay. Uh, I mean, this might be okay. I... I don't know. Who made this? WB Games, Montreal. Oh, I think they made Origins, right? Which was, like, okay. I don't think that was great. Would you be Elevator Face in the Batman universe? I would be Jellyfish Man. I'd be the jellyfish. Because when I was younger, I got stung by a huge pack of jellyfish. So I would, I would definitely be... The Jellyfish Man. <laughs> that would be me. 
It was pretty bad. All right. Uh, hmm. All right, let's get started. One second. Hit the music. Oh, no, that's not the music. That might be a video I watch later, but I'm not sure. Haven't decided yet. Hope you guys didn't listen. Hope you guys didn't get it spoiled. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know if I, I put on the thing and then I immediately switch to a different tab. I don't know uh, if I'm going to play that game. Maybe I'll wait for it to be like on sale for half off or something. All right. should have did this before, but I forgot. Remember, anybody remember that word guessing game Coney played? It's called Pimantis. Pimantis. P-I and then Mantis. Like a praying mantis. Not really into this playlist. It's mostly just strings. Oh, wait a minute. This is kind of nice. Kind of like this. All right. Uh, ba 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 ba. I put up a. Uh, I had to put together a sponsor thing for a video that's going up, dude. Wednesday's sponsored video next Wednesday, not tomorrow Wednesday. I can't believe that I have this sponsor. It's... It's really weird. I'll just say that. It's not what you think. I'll just say that. It, you're not gonna guess it. You would never guess it in a million years. It's not Dixburg. No. It's, it's a company that's... Oh, dude, I have a bounty tonight, too, and it's weird. I have a weird bounty, too. I have no idea. But no, Wednesday, next Wednesday I have a really weird sponsor for a video. But that's not what we're doing right now. Uh, here's what we're doing right now. Let me make sure that I got all my stuff in a row. Uh, yeah, okay. Oakley Dokley. What? Did they break it? Fuck me, man. Hold on. Oh, it deactivated. Or it didn't. It didn't de- What the fuck? I'm trying to get my extension working. It broke again. I don't know how this always happens to me. Oh, there it is. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. It works, it works, it works. All right. We're good, we're good, we're good. Sorry about the wait. Okay. Tiktokulon 2.0? No. It's in repairs! It's in repairs currently. Don't worry about it. Give it time. Okay. I think the music has an echo. That's just the music. It's your ears. Did you open root? No, I don't drink that anymore. They're out of business. Now I have the soft sponsor. All right. Fellas, welcome back to another round of React Mojo. Now, I usually pick the videos, but I feel like that's not fair. You guys have seen enough of these. I think you guys know what you like. Go ahead, bro. Pick a video. Whatever you want. We'll watch whatever you want. 
I'm going to pick one on my own. I know which one I'm going to watch. But click on any of them. Whichever one you want. Pick your favorite. Oh, everybody loves... I think I know... <laughs> oh, you dogs. You absolute cads. I know what you want. Yeah, 49% right here. Oh, my God. I'm not starting with that one. Just so you know. I'm not... <laughs> I can't believe it's. it was this obvious. I can't believe that I could have guessed that. You know this isn't anonymous, right? I know who's clicking. I have a list of all of your names and IPs. Everybody wants to go to the Coom games. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Coomer Tuesdays. It is come Tuesday. It is come Tuesday. Who are you going to tell? Your parents? Your teacher? Your principal? Maybe? Okay, it's clear It's clear that there's a winner here. Obviously, I think people have uh, spoken and have made their choice known. So here they are. The top 10 Happy Meal Toy Fails. And this is the girl set. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Happy Meal Toy Fails. What does they're that even mean? Upset parents tonight. I mean, they're outraged. They say something. What if this is a really dark list? This always happens to me where I'm like, ha ha, I bet this is a funny video. And all of the, the top 10 are like, children choked and died. Their children receive foul mouth toys. <laughs> what a in fail! Happy meals. For this list, we're looking at some of the Happy Meal toys that were disappointing, not functional, or just bizarre. Is that a naked minion? By the way, did you guys see the minion news? Hardest image of 2022. <laughs> Hold on. No, wait, where is it? I just searched for it and I can't. Ah, here it is. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe this is real. The Minions congratulate Eminem, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's a real image. He's a bored ape? What is this image? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Eminem is making tweets about Minions, the rise of Gru? Oh, God. All of your heroes. All of your... Oh, God. All of your heroes will be laid to waste. He fell off. I, I mean, he's probably on the soundtrack the same way that Pharrell was, right? Like, Pharrell was in the first Despicable Me. But, like, guys, you don't understand. I was around when Eminem was, like, blowing up and on the radio and shit. You would not believe the things he said. He threatened to kill his pregnant wife. <laughs> like, out in the open. And everybody's just like, hell yeah, that goes hard. He was crazy. How are we here? You know, now he's promoting kids. But I just, I don't know, man. It's same with Ice T. I saw something about Ice T now promoting. Oh God, what was it? Hold on, Ice T Twitter. I'm really stun locked on this. Ice T promoted something. Oh, dude, Ice T is on my fucking. I know what it is. My wife got some cereal the other day for Juliet. Uh, guess what? Guess who's in the newest commercial for Honey Nut Cheerios? You don't have to guess because I spoiled it. It's Ice-T. Ice-T is in Honey Nut Cheerios commercials. Ice-T made the song Cop Killer. Cheerios. He found out they can help lower cholesterol. Now he's taking care of his heart and butt. Dude, Ice-T made a song about killing police. Like, and it was the most controversial song released in the 90s. This motherfucker wanted to kill every cop on the planet. And now he's out here fast walking through a suburban neighborhood eating a heart-healthy meal for children. But new ways. Speedy T's heart formation. Get moving. They're only here for a limited time. Insane to me. It really is. And he plays a cop on Law & Order. I didn't even think of that! He's playing a police officer. This, I, dude, 
Okay, this doesn't seem that crazy to you because you've never known Ice-T or Eminem in that context because you're all little poop babies. But one day you will see, like, I'm trying to think of a of an example of I, who even is controversial in, in now, in the here and now. I don't feel like anybody is. Pete Davidson, who's like the... Takashi 6 9 That's actually a good answer. Yeah, what if Takashi 6 9 is in, like, I don't know, 30 years doing commercials for, like, Yo Play yogurt? Doing parfait commercials, right? Lil Nas X? Kind of, I guess, but not quite the same. It's bizarre, man. It really is. Anyway, uh, Eminem is a bored ape <laughs> with a lot of minion love. I can't... Uh, Eminem is always on that fringe of like, is he being ironic or sincere? I still don't know. Whatever. Which Happy Meal toy disappointed you as a child? Wait, well, the Minions curse? Or just bizarre? Which Happy Meal? <laughs> <laughs> what do they say? Toy disappointed you as a child? Let us know in the comments. What word Number do 10, they use? American Idol MP3 player. Premiering in 2002, oh, American shit, that's Idol cool. was arguably at the height of its popularity by 2007. What song does it play? I am not knowing what I'm headed for. You can take me. So, Great why work, not editor. have Happy Meal toys based on the hit show? That well, is based off the show. Well, there are a show. number of reasons why not. Judgmental Mike? <laughs> I kind of want this, though. Bro, check out the applause I think it's like you pull the thing and then people clap. This looks like a HyperX. What is Judgmental Mike, though? Like, the what does that do? The for Idol was perhaps a little higher than Happy Meal age, and we can only assume that very young children had no idea what the toys were about. There were a number of uh -huh. options, but the MP3 player has to be among the All right, what did it play, though? It's kind of cool. A thin, Kinda wicked. odd semblant piece of plastic that played the idol theme over and over again. Yay. In second That's place so for bad. terrible idol toys, the music-themed figurines. Disco Dave, anyone? Right, young children? Disco? It just wasn't happening for me, dog. Number nine. What would McDonald's you rather have? Glove Ruben stuttered? Puppets are a timeless classic. <laughs> he wouldn't fit in the box. been around for centuries. Welcome back to Introduction to Puppetry. We had a fun morning making our puppets. Now let's see if Seth we can McFarlane? bring them to life. Unfortunately, some puppets are just disposable letdowns. Such huh. were the glove puppets offered by McDonald's in the 1980s. They were basically just plastic bags with drawings of the restaurant's characters. Come on. on. Woo Not only did they look like cheap sandwich it's bags, fine. but they were also an obvious choking hazard. Oh, it's I didn't think of that. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You're right. You're right. Sincerely hoping. Watch Mojo's right on that one. I didn't consider the fact that kids could die. I mean, it's a little lazy, right? But sometimes sponsorship deals fall through, and they're like, "Hey, we got a bunch of plastic. We'll make some. Uh, we'll we'll make some some puppets." Uh, but I I didn't consider the you know, um, accidental death angle. We'd kids can die to anything. Yeah, but come on. On this list. <laughs> Go ahead. Make a fool of yourself. Number eight, Zizzle is. Sometimes an attempt at the next big thing just doesn't quite work out. At the end of 2005, uh, toy company Zizzle released the Is, which was an cool. interactive music speaker dancing thing. And turn his ear. Yeah. He dances? The company had hoped to have the next Furby on their hands. Well, the creepy factor was They're there. They're kind of cool, I McDonald's guess. McDonald's offered the toys in 2006, hoping to get an early trip on the bandwagon. Uh, Unfortunately, Izzes did not take off. Presumably because they were creepy and children just couldn't get into them at all. You know what's crazy? When I see shit like this, I'm like, yeah, I could see it. There is a universe where this pops the fuck off. Furby was creepy, though. Not back then. It's only creepy through the lens of, like, 20 years of ironic... Uh, how do I put this? Creepy pasta. Like, what if it was evil? Like, it was a little creepy, but it was also like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? It's the same way that, like, 30s music is creepy now. Because everybody in it is dead. So you're like, oh my god. Right? But back then, it's it's fine, because it's the music of the times. 
it's 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 a little bit different. Thirties music is not creepy now. You're 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 copiuming, bro. Listen to this. <laughs> Tell me this isn't creepy, okay? That's not creepy. Huh? You feel at ease right now? Turn off your lights. Right now, pussy. Turn off your lights if you're so brave. Turn off the screen, too. Big band jazz is scary. It is! That's so many people that are dead. Big band has like 50 people in a band and all of them are dead now. Isn't that sad? And scary, too? Let's get them all going. <laughs> I kind of like these. Them? Zizzle Izzes looked like emaciated Mr. Potato Heads crying out for help. Number seven. I can see those popping Toothbrush and toothpaste. <laughs> this is kind of a predictable failure. You know what kids well, get really excited about? Dental yeah, hygiene. No! Is oh, this really a That song fail? does count. That's a recent song made to sound old. What the fuck? Why'd you make me pause on this? Don't donate ever again. I'm free! Free! <laughs> I claim this mouth in the name of incisor. Don't you ever donate again. I think not. In 1983, McDonald's had the interesting idea <laughs> to forego Happy Meal toys for a toothbrush and toothpaste. Uh-oh, sure. uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh-oh, wait a minute. What's this? What's this? Leaf detected! <laughs> Oh, never mind. This idea fucking sucks. Who came up with this? Is this Quebec? <laughs> ah, you know what they need. <laughs> A toothbrush. Some toothpaste. For their rotten teeth. We put sugar in our fries and everything else. Please give them the brush. <laughs> we don't claim Quebec. You're all, it's all the same up there. It's, it's, it's what? Quebec? Toronto, which is like New York, but a little bit more north, and Nunavut, which is the wilderness. <laughs> I only know about Nunavut because I got, I did I miss saying that right? Nunavut? Is that it? Do you claim Texas? Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, we claim Texas. I claim every single state of this beautiful country, except Florida. I'm not proud of where I'm from. To Nunavut. forego okay. Happy Meal toys for a toothbrush and toothpaste. Sure, brushing is important and all that. Bro, I remember Doctor Rabbit. Ten dentists were probably that happy. dude had so right many you YouTube are, poops. Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. That's Lola. Why, Doctor? You're welcome. But we can only imagine the endless looks of disappointment on children's faces, followed by the same looks on parents' faces when they realized they'd have to find alternate forms of entertainment during the meal, on top of managing their children's disappointment. How often do you brush, Ralph? Three times a day, Honestly, sir. not a bad Why idea. Must you turn my office into a house of lies. The Happy Meal is supposed to make children happy. Leave the boring stuff to parents, please. That's not boring. Number six. I mean, like, I, I feel like they probably, like, they got a good PR win for that, right? Like, people are probably very happy they did that. There's some parent out there that couldn't afford a toothbrush and a Happy Meal. And, you know, a little bit of two-for-one. It's not too bad. In 1992, the film The Mighty Ducks was reasonably well-received. <laughs> And led to an just pucks series in like hockey pucks. You got to get the sticks and everything. My monitor genuinely started top flicker when you played the song. Also, don't pronounce the second in Toronto. Wait, really? Toronto? Is that what you guys say? That sucks. The animated series was the inspiration. Wait a behind minute. The is everybody in the Mighty Ducks universe a duck? Is the other team they're fighting a duck too? No? Okay. Never mind then. You just saw a human. Oh, I did. <laughs> well, what I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, if this is a universe of ducks, okay, that's a human. I think. Yeah. I was going to say like, that would be like a hockey team being called the like, the human beings, you know what I mean? But, okay. So the ducks are just superhuman. I still wouldn't fight a duck, though, on in, in hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
The animated series was the inspiration behind the McDonald's I feel like they should have their own league. Pucks, which were hockey pucks adorned with characters from the series. Fresh from their road trip to McDonald's, the Mighty Ducks take the ice. Only it's wood because cool. it's a coffee table. Fake to the fries. Ah, wild wings in the stand. That's all fine and good, but McDonald's decided to show their ignorance of how the sport is played when they advertised the pucks as functional, i.e. one could actually play hockey with them. <laughs> Sure, you could, but the plastic puck would shatter quite quickly. It would literally just break. Ice with tiny puck parts and ruining the toy. You would have a duck pack. all over the I fucking ice. For one day. Number five, Goosh. McDonald's character sunglasses. Oh, those are cool. Some of the past McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Oh, I like seem those. Like cop-outs. When there wasn't much to promote film or cartoon-wise, McDonald's would release toys based on its <laughs> characters. These were hit or miss, and this no, entry let me see it is again. a definite miss. Oh, yeah. yeah Bingo. There it is, right there. In 1989, <laughs> Toby could find some cheap plastic sunglasses in there. My favorite thing about toys like these is that, like, every single one is personalized, right? There are these little micro-expressions and little tiny things that you only notice if you look really close. This one looks almost sadistic. There's something about the eye shape. I think it's a little bit like like he's 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 narrowing his eyes a little bit in sadistic glee. This one looks more observant. I don't know. He looks more like he doesn't wish to do harm, but he's aiding and abetting, right? Also, he has the one vampire tooth in the front. Like 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 the Ludwig Koopa, you know what I mean? I love that. Each of these have their own endeavors. Happy Meals. Each pair was adorned with either Ronald, Grimace, Birdie, the or Grimace the Grimace one is so Each funny. Each pair was also wildly unattractive and could make anyone look like, well, a person wearing hideous sunglasses. Not to mention the Ronald ones are basically yeah. terrifying with their Pennywise eyes. A little vibes. bit. A little bit. Take it. Did you know that It was like apparently the highest grossing horror movie of all time? Isn't that insane? Wow. What was? It was. I'm not doing this th who's on first thing. I'm not I'm not doing this. Stop. We're not in the fucking 1910s. I'm not Abbott and you're not Costello. I'm streaming right now. I make the jokes. Stop trying to hijack. Take it. It was a good movie. I'm just surprised These it's the are number one. You'll you know what I mean? Wear at night so no one can see them. Number four, Popoids. You know what kids love? Mm. A bunch of meaningless pieces of plastic they can connect to create. That shit look well, like no. bug snacks. Popoids were pretty much just that. A collection of strange, tubular pieces of plastic connecting to some wheels and balls or cubes or we have no idea. I think they're the kind of cool. colossal cosmic set. They're silly. They're wacky and they bent and posed like that. Not they are only were these silly a and wacky. choking hazard for the younger he was spitting audience, there. but they were very dull as well. There's no way anyone can get hours of fun out of three pieces of interconnecting plastic. You can collect one of four different three-piece toys. It's a fucking Happy Meal toy. What are you getting hours of fun out of? We Popoid sets when you buy a McDonald's Crazy Creatures Happy Meal. They tried to promote them on commercials, claiming you could connect them all to create crazy creatures. These are but cool. But what's really missing here is the crazy fun. These are pretty cool. I like these. I thought these were really cool when I was a kid. I don't remember having them, but I think they're neat. Number three, <laughs> Tickle Feather Sponge. In 1982, children could delight in opening their Happy Meals to find a Tickle Feather Sponge. What this does that mean? This seems like a joke, but it's absolutely something that was offered by the fast food chain. Steve, this is real. Yep, got it. Here it is. One of your faves yep. as a kid, right? A it was sponge? a long yellow foam cutout featuring the image of a feather and intended for use in tickling. Nope, we're really not kidding. Why is it a sponge then? If it was just a feather, I actually might be okay with it. You can't combine sponge and feather. <laughs> that creates... Two, those are two very distinct scenarios that should not go together. This was a real thing. <laughs> cheaper? That's not cheaper. I could, I could pluck a goose right now and get like 500 feathers. <laughs> Other than the potential inappropriate undertones, who in their right mind thought this was a good idea? You know what kids really need? A way to harass each other and their parents with a piece of foam that quite honestly looks because like it's probably Because tickle sponge sounds fun. 
<laughs> I don't think that's what they should have gone for. Go for Tickle Feather. You don't go for Tickle Sponge. Tickles. Excuse me, sir. Do you like to laugh? Well, only if something tickles me just right. Dude, Much these Simpsons clips are toy. insane. Number two. They're digging Spider Man deep. 2 Girl Toys. Sometimes the big film of the summer is believed to have a predominantly oh, male they're pink? audience, and McDonald's just has to make do, apparently. You can get a taste of the action at McDonald's and be amazing like Spider-Man when you stick to awesome stuff like dairy and fruit. Part of the web-slinging fun... <laughs> Wait, did the girls get the shitty toys? Hold on. All right, there's a headband, uh, a... a tour bus? What the fuck is that? A heart ring? <laughs> Cards? A locket with a picture of Spider-Man inside. Oh, Peter. Some bracelets? More hearts? There's a lot of hearts here. <laughs> Boys get a spider! Ew! <laughs> and now in your happy meal. So what about girls? Just give them the same toys? Of course not. We need pink, purple, and hearts stat. In 2014, <laughs> the big blockbuster was The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and Mickey D's got in on that action. However, uh... rather than just offering the same toys for everyone, they had separate toys for girls and boys. The boys and the girls sets, and I'm sure you can tell uh... which is which and what they're trying to do here. The girl toys were basically just Spider-Man stuff colored pink and purple, and featured a headband and wallet, among other things. Honestly, even well, if they were to offer two versions of the toys, I mean, perhaps don't do it in a stereotypical lazy way. I mean, they probably had some focus groups, right? And the girls probably didn't want that shit, right? I, I don't know. I have a little girl, and if I gave all this stuff to her, she would want the stickers. Then again, she's two and a half. <laughs> girls would want the figurine. Yeah, I guess not having a figurine is pretty bad. I just feel like they probably did some amount of research on this, but maybe not. I don't know. Coney is defending the mega corporation. Someone has to. I'm so sick of this cancel culture. These businesses are under fire all the time. Which is which and what they're trying to do here. Headband and wall. Don't do it in a stereotypical lazy way. <laughs> they have it, everybody. The amazing Spider-Man 2 set of eight different... Here is... Toys <laughs> just released Be here. amazing. That's so cute. Yeah, my daughter would love the stickers. And that's probably it. 2014 by McDonald's. Before we unveil our number one pick. Get him, Batman! An honorable mention. Shoot him! Batman Returns. Blast him! These family-friendly toys in support of a not-so-family-friendly movie outraged parents. Oh, now, yeah. Batman car and a McDonald's Happy Meal. That's I guess that's true. Batman's launching Batmobile or the Penguin's Roadster. Before yeah, I, I think there's a scene where Catwoman offers to blow the Penguin. <laughs> So, <laughs> maybe yeah, having her in a vehicle, in a silly little vehicle like this, um, probably not the best look. Hey, she didn't plan on doing it, okay? She wasn't going to do it. It was part of subterfuge. But she did say it, so. And the penguin calls her a pussy. That does happen, too. You're right. I saw this movie, like, a month ago. <laughs> it was pretty good. Not as good as the first one, but not bad. Batman's launching Batmobile or the Penguin's Roadster. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified. Penguin's dick is probably disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. I would guess that would be the case. I, I, uh, I'm not gonna get stun. Way. I'm, I'm this close to getting stun locked. Like you know how a duck has like a corkscrew. I'm just curious. Latest but. videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on Dude, how about that Colin Farrell, by the way? Settings and switch on notifications. I didn't even know that was him. Number one, cursing minions. <laughs> Kids love minions. Anyone who knows or has children will have heard endless impersonations and endless repetitions of the word banana. I right, what'd you banana. say? What'd they say? Banana. So... 
Unsurprisingly, McDonald's got in on that action and in 2015 offered a collection of talking minions figures. Okay. You'll find a funny little minion in every McDonald's. <laughs> a happy funny meal. little minion. Yeah. The minion says the darndest things. Which is really a mix of common English words and not. This one definitely says slurs. If you got the purple one, he's unhinged. Look at him. This one definitely is, a, yeah, this guy's afraid of him. He just got called something. Yep, I have it. Yep, that one right there. Can't put him on a YouTube video. Some kid is going to be like, all right, here's a Despicable Me 2 unboxing of the Happy Meal Minions toy and get demonetized. Nonsense. However, when you have a small plastic figurine say some of these minion words, there's a slight loss in translation. What they say? McDonald's says a very small number of customers has contacted them about the minion concerns, but it will not be pulling the toy from Happy Meals. What they Parents say? were understandably upset when it seemed that their children's toys started to exclaim an expletive, as in What's the what expletive? The Fill in the blank yourselves, friend. Wait. Toys started to exclaim an expletive, as in what the blank. <laughs> Fill in the blank yourselves, friends. Do you agree with- Oh, come on, man! Oh, it knows what I'm into. I think on the right side, this is a video that they specifically uh, wanted to suggest to me. So, Watch Mojo definitely has me pegged. Hold on. Cursing Minion McDonald's toy. Found it. Oh, it was the caveman. Hey there and welcome. Well, we've got our two minions. Uh, the first one on the right we've had for a while. The one on the left is... Oh, it's Australian. I was going to say, if this is Scottish, he probably curses a lot. The new one is the Actually, one he's Australian. He probably curses about. a lot. So let's have a listen to the first one. Banana. Banana. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Banana. Well, he doesn't say much, but banana and laughs. And, yeah. And, but it's the second one. And have a listen to him. He sees a couple of things, but it's the last thing you hear. Sure. Ah. Uh. That one. Okay. I guess so. It's that. What? Duck, duck, duck. You know, uh, we just got like, I mean, weird dirty minds, or do you think uh, McDonald's are, uh, are actually allowing these minions to say that? that, that no, I don't think that. There? Um, I don't think it is. I think for a kid, they have no idea. It's just minion talk. I think it's just like a chicken noise. Yeah, it's a cluck. It's... But for us adults, it's different. Anyway, let's... You have to really want to hear that. Let's have yeah. another listen to it. Well... Uh, you know, uh, the more I hear it, like here, if you have a kid, they're going to be banging this on the table for eight hours a day. And so at some point your brain's going to be like, wait, what is that thing saying? I kind of, I kind of see it. Now, is it the biggest Happy Meal toy fail ever? Don't know about that. Um, but apparently Watch Mojo thinks so. So, okay. Well, <laughs> Decent movie. Not bad. You guys picked a, a pretty good one to start, but not the best. All right, go again. What's the next one? Your choice. You guys think it's so easy to do a night of watch mojoing? To pick the right movies, huh? Don't pick me. You're wasting your vote. Don't throw your vote away. Do you know how many people had to fight and die in a war to give you the opportunity to vote today? Damn, dude. Look at this. It's actually, like, pretty evenly spread. Don't pick the McDonald's one. We already did that one. Ah, and look who's winning again. <laughs> this is... Guys. I You can't play it in public, and I can't watch it in public. I'm gonna save that one for later. <laughs> the editor's gonna be so mad at me because I have to... I He can't get any clips of me from behind this fucking screen. <laughs> Actually, I don't think this shows up in the VOD, so I think he's okay. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm just standing... I'm sitting in front of this. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, looks like once again, there's a clear winner. One video seems to stand above the rest. And uh, that's the one that we're going to watch. Here are the top 10 fates in video games that are worse than death. Okay, I may have pre-watched the first thing just to see if it would be a good video. Just the first one, though. I got up to villagers, and I was like, okay. And I turned it off. That's it. That's Welcome it. That's it. Mojo. I swear. I swear. I swear. Worse than death I have a feeling games. this one's not going to be good, though. I think you guys well, picked a stinker. The... If my watch duration goes down on YouTube, we're fucked. this list, we're looking at the fates of different characters. Oh, it's this guy. In worse situations it's than this narrator. Dead. Which of these would you say is the worst? Is there another character you think we forgot? Let us know. Staged reaction? Comments. I knew the first one. I saw villagers Number and ten. then I clicked off. That's it. I saw this. And villagers. Animal Crossing series. I don't know why they would say that, though. I think v being a villager Anyone is kind of cute. Anyone who has played an Animal Crossing game knows what they're signing up for when buying a new game. A lifetime of Wait, being isn't like Animal Tom Crossing, Nook there's the like a theory... Days. That Animal Crossing's they were abducted by animals, materials for right? Bells so the players can pay back their debt. Once fully paid, Tommy Boy tells us about a new upgrade available for our house. Of course, we're going to go for it despite the bill being bigger than the last. And thus, the cycle repeats until we're finally fully satisfied with our living conditions. And we thought okay. credit card bills were bad. This is just real life. This isn't Number worse nine, than death. That's Blood living. Tilda. What the fuck? Banjo Kazooie <laughs> series. <laughs> oh, I told you, you guys picked a bad list. Oh Even hell no, she got the Minji Jungo. Of her former self, Gruntilda never really died. Therefore, she is eligible for this list. Her entire existence is just one big cycle of pain in various moments. First, she falls off the top of her lair and this is list is already flopping. Thanks for, for picking it. Ah uh ah, -uh, all contraire. And is I didn't choose like this one. You did. Sack. And finally, in Nuts this was Bolts, your favorite she's video. Sent to one of Log's video game factories, sentenced to help ship out cruddy spin-offs starring minor characters. Cool, she got a Old bad guy ending. Oh no. Humans. I have no Okay, mouth, this should I be This should literally be number 1. What the fuck? This is like the worst ending in a video game ever or in any d form of fiction. We will let our fallen if you guys have never read this, you should. It's it's uh, very short, but the story is great. Choose a suitable reward. Having to be a character in a horror game is already this an is awful so life fucked to up. accept. But the humans in I Have No Mouth have it far worse. Yeah, if this is only well, number eight, what else is going to happen? Successfully disabling the evil supercomputer M, five of the seven endings have virtually the same results. There are multiple the endings? The character is turned into a blobby creature incapable of inflicting self-harm, unable to die, and yeah. mouthless. On top of that, the human character is forced to spend the rest of eternity with Am with no way to express I didn't know there are seven endings in this game. suffering quicker. I have no mouth. I must scream. He said it! Seven, the boy. Oh, okay, Inside. this isn't worse. I've never played this game, but this can't be worse than the last one, right? While we're on the subject, I had no clue there was a video game of it. I wanted to play it a long time ago. Now I can't. <laughs> I would have no viewers, but I must stream. Be miserable existence. It's worth focusing on the boy from That's pretty good, right? <laughs> For the first half of the game, you're hunted down like vermin by almost everyone and I hear everything. it's a very good game. Roughly yeah. around the last third of the game, he becomes one with an abomination lying deep within a laboratory, a blob of flesh. Though he escapes, the game ends upon reaching an open field with a lone ray of light shining down. And yes, we do know about the alternate ending. We wouldn't say it made things look any brighter, though. And yes, we do know about the other ending, Bat Chest. It's a boring little nightmares. I just, it didn't, it looked so much like uh, Limbo. I wasn't into it. Andros, Star Fox I didn't series. like it. What's wrong with Andros? He becomes a brain, right? Much like Gruntilda, he just Andros hasn't had a game has in 50 years. Truly died. But it's not his life at the end of the game that we want to focus on. 
It's what happened before. Prior to his galactic conquest, Andros was caught conducting unethical experiments with one resulting in significant losses to the Cornarian people. Okay. General Pepper sentences the mad scientist to a life in exile on the desolate planet Venom located on the opposite end of the Lilat system. I didn't know any of this. Area. I played this whole Venom game. I don't remember that. Venom is a deserted that. planet known to be completely uninhabitable. Even knowing that... that I fucking love when bosses do this. Like a skeleton boss is, is like, I have a bone to pick with you. You know what I mean? I love that shit. Andros survived <laughs> living under the surface. He's just a giant brain and he makes he a brain joke. <laughs> along with the rage and hatred fueling him. I love that. Number five, the Slayer, Doom Seer. What? Oh, his dog died, right? Well, Isn't that what this is? The 16 game would tell you he the game in the franchise is centered on the same marine from the first. Okay, so he just stopped. went through hell multiple times. Okay, cool. Oh, he had a bunny. Number That's four, what it was. Cortex, Entropy, and Uka Uka. Crash Bandicoot War. You guys picked a bad War list, bro. Is about to end. Cortex already had it pretty bad before warped, having fallen this into list a stinks. cave you of picked crystals it. and somehow surviving, and spun into the depths of space and somehow surviving. Sorry, Coney. Uh, almost uh, made sure Cortex. Make sure the next Entropy one's better, Uka okay? Uka never returned again. Once defeated after collecting I can't all handle the two bad movies in a relics, row. The three are sucked into a time portal and sent back all the way to prehistoric times as babies. Oh god, oh, that is pretty they've bad. Been set in a volcanic region of the world. <laughs> and once again, they okay. somehow survived. That is pretty the bad. Of Crash Bandicoot 4. Your babies in dinosaur land on a volcano. Eh, That's pretty bad. So bad. Although you would just die. Laughing stock of gas moxia. Forget the dream. All right, yeah, this one's pretty bad. Under the morning sun. The hunter faces a long. This one's pretty bad, but is it number three? Having fought against werewolves, mad villagers, parasites, and is it? Yes. And yet, none of the game's three endings result in a life of peace. You're and consistently dying over and over, forever, facing unknowable horrors, and then at the end, you get your head chopped off unless you eat three umbilical cords. That's pretty bad. You have to eat three aborted alien babies, and then you get to become a squid. Prosperity. One ends with Garman offing the hunter, sending them back to the start of Yarnum. Another sees the hunter taking Garman's <laughs> place as the it's kinda fucked caretaker. Up. And for the third, the hunter defeats the moon presence and becomes what a cool game. great one. Their fate left in the hands of Bro, the doll. Bro, if I get this show with like 60 the Slayer, FPS. There is whew, whew, no such whew, thing slick. As whew, I wish I could whistle. Slick. Please, bro. Please. Number two, Zagreus. Hades. It's the same as Bloodborne, dude. I'm skipping this. He just dies a lot. All right, who's number one, bro? Who's number one? Conquer. Conquer, right? Bowser, Porky. Porky? Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, shit. Panda content creators? Dude, you're not going to believe this. Dude, okay. Take this out of the video. I can't believe this. Panda hit me up today, and they were like, hey, the fighting game channel wants to react to one of your videos. I'm like, react to one of my videos? Which one? Why? They're like the weirdest fighting game characters videos because it's doing really well. It got like 130K views. And they were like, can we react to it? I'm like... Yeah, you can, but I don't think it'll be good. So we'll see what they say. I told them, what I told them is I hate reacting to funny content. You can't make content out of reacting to funny content. If, if you're watching funny content, it's for Twitch only. Because otherwise you're just laughing at the video on screen. What the fuck are you there for? You get what I'm saying? So if they're watching my video and they're like, Haha, that is silly. That's not a thing on YouTube. Says who? I. You're right. I mean, it, literally, it, it's not true. People could put up a video of anything, but... I just... I, I don't know how that's gonna go, but I just wanted to let you guys know. We made it. All right, number one, I think I agree. I think it's Pokey, right? The latest videos. Isn't that all your content? No, 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 no. No. 
the difference is you have to react to informative or straight content, like like straight laced, very like not dry, very dry. You know what I mean? That's the difference. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or otherwise all of it them. doesn't work. If you're it on doesn't your phone, work. make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. It's pokey, bro. It's pokey. Number one, Waluigi Super Smash Bros. series. The Prince of Wah is forever stuck in the assist trophy case. But this isn't our real number one, even though it oh. truly is horrible. <laughs> number one, Kratos. Oh my fucking god. He's so sad. God of War series. He's so sad. Is no <laughs> oh. Kratos. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. Bro, his family died with his face. His family died, right? That happens. Sometimes. It's sad. But he killed them. Okay, that's true. I forgot he killed them. Hmm. He, he did kill his whole family. Ah, uh, under the uh, under the effects of Ares's, you know, influence, huh? And then he tries to kill himself, but he can't. Pretty bad. I still think Pokey is worse. <laughs> Pokey's much worse. Pokey's much worse. Pokey locks himself in a chamber and is just stuck there. <laughs> That's true. He does have a mouth and he can scream. He does it a lot. No, this sucks. This one's pretty bad. He did do a lot of bad shit, but everything worked Honestly, out for him, right? Of every video game character in the new in game, the history, Kratos has arguably suffered the most. He's pretty Plus, happy. He was possessed by Ares and tricked into eradicating his family. Kratos cry baby motherfucker. True, a true. Oh, crying ass. And anger. He struggles to forgive himself More in like the span tears of several of war. games, <laughs> and at the end of God of War 3, he attempts to bring himself to an end. However, a post credit scene shows he did not perish, and thus okay. he dragged himself away to the Nordic realm. In other words, he lives the curse of immortality. Ellie from The Last of Us suffered the most. Him for eternity. I mean, if you want to go down this more awesome No! If you want to go down this route, we could talk about Brad, right? Click it. I'll... Who's number one? I'll just I'll look at who's number one oh. for you guys. Sephiroth. Who's number one? Guess who's number one? Number one is <sighs> Huh. Mother Brain Tifa. Tifa's good. Morgan, no. Lady D? It's probably Lady D. It's definitely Lady or D. All of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch It's definitely going to be Lady D. Number one. <laughs> Lady Diddy Track. Yeah, of course. Of course. All right, who's number two? Who's number two? This was obvious. Is it, now that you said it. Who's number two? Who's number two? Oh. Two. Why? Metal okay. Gear Solid. Do you guys remember this shit? They show promotional art for Quiet, who's like this elite military sniper, and she's just wearing a fucking, like, a bra that isn't even like a full bra. <laughs> it's like barely hanging on. And everybody's like, Kojima, why did they do that? What, what, what did you mean by that? And Kojima's like, I can't believe you would say that about Quiet. You will regret saying that. You will re you're going to feel so sad when you hear about her story. You will regret your words and deeds. You are going to feel so bad about being so mean to me. And then it turns out she's a plant. And she needs sunlight or something. She's... I, I don't fucking know. She's like a flower, right? Uh, she needs sunlight and, and wind. Oh, she needs water. She's a toad. That's what it is. Then the game sucked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I played the first half of Metal Gear, and then I got spoiled on how Metal Gear Solid Five ends, and I did not go back. I couldn't. I loved the first half, dude. The first half was so fucking fun. She breathes through her skin. That's what it is. She breathes through her skin, and she needs 
uh, water, I think. Something like that. First half of this game is excellent. And then it just... Okay, who's number three? What? Does this count? Can I watch this? Yes, Hooney. Wait, can I? Wait, I'm not playing Hooney Pop. D mods, mods, I'm not playing Hooney Pop. Z Fats, Fats, help! Fats, Fats! I didn't play it. I didn't play it. I didn't play it. I didn't play it. I'm watching a YouTube video of it. Fats, <laughs> help! Okay, I'm gonna skip. Who's number four? Was that a Shantae boss? Does Shantae know it's horny? As much as we love risky boots, we just could Shantae knows it is, right? Okay, I'm not watching the rest of this. I never played Hooney Pop. Dude, if I get banned, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Look at her boobs and ask that again. Yeah, but like, do you guys remember Rayman? Rayman Origins, I think, had these, like, really sexy, like, fairies or something. But, like, it was in a game where nothing else is sexual. Every Nobody knows what I'm talking about, huh? Okay, hold on. Hold on. You guys, you guys, hold on. Uh, these are the fairies in Rayman. Everything else in that game, I'm 90% sure, is, like, kid-friendly. I love this game, by the way. Not, it's a good game. It's a very good game. France-based? Oh, it is France. I didn't think about that. France has a different attitude. Coney knew exactly what to search to find that image. I just searched Rayman Fairies! That's it! Cody really trying to get banned this week. All right, motherfuckers. Okay, you want to... You, fuck it. In for a penny, in for a pound. These are the top 10 video games you can't play in public. You guys really want to go this far. This is the video you wanted anyway. I tried to keep you away from it. If I'm going to get banned, I might as well go all the way. Fuck it. Let's see some titties. Number nine, Hooney Pop. Number Welcome eight, Welcome Hooney Pop 2. And today we're counting down our picks for the top Fuck 10 it. video games you can't play in public. Yakuza? Everybody will judge you. This game rules, by the way. I talk about it every time it comes up on the thing. It's the only anime thing I've ever liked. Catherine is an excellent game. I don't know why he made this face, though. This is still very silly. For this list, we're looking at games that would probably get you some weird looks if you were to play them in public. Note that we're focusing more on games where a normal bystander might Okey not dokey? understand the full context of the game. Would you dare to play any of these games in front of a stranger? Share What's the full the context of Conquer? Number 10, Yakuza series. Oh, come here, E.G. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. I would be embarrassed to play level, this anyway. Game That's why I don't stream like it. I don't want you guys to, to see it. <laughs> For the most part, you see good-hearted folks getting tangled with different Yakuza clans in dramatic and What's wrong with Yakuza? Stories. Nothing super alarming aside from some occasional graphic violence. It's just However, it's the sub stories boring. that might cause some to silently judge you as they tend to Means get that everybody's going to judge your taste. Probably wanted to buy his mom and Why are you playing this instead of a good western game like Watch Dogs? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Right? Investigating cults, bizarre boss fights, teaching a woman Why don't you just play Assassin's Creed? It all looks strange when viewed out of context. So this would be a play, play a good game, huh? Sitting on a bus or train. Are you guys You could have said Red Dead 2. <laughs> Ah, that would have been be. better. You're Look, right. He's got the hair and everything. Number nine, The Binding of Isaac. Yeah, this one I, you shouldn't play in front of anyone. This game's gross. The Binding gross. of Isaac is a roguelike dungeon crawler that tells the story of a young boy being abused by his overly religious mother. But even with the disgusting and difficult this game's boss nasty, fight, your average dude. Joe might not understand that. You shouldn't play it, Gigadar. <laughs> Most folks your parents wouldn't be happy with it. characters and the fact that many of the levels are littered with poo. They might also find it weird that the main character is fighting off horrendous creatures by crying. TK says that he loves roguelikes, but he says he hates this game because there's poop everywhere. I'm like, pussy. 
It might not be judged too harshly rules, for playing bro. such a game, but this game's those crazy. familiar may choose not to sit too close to you. Number eight, Senron Kagura series. Sen what? I've li I've literally never heard of this. One could argue that just about any video game with an anime appearance would get you weird looks, regardless of how many people might be in the room with you. True. <laughs> That's actually accurate. Not even a joke. If I'm like on a plane and I see somebody pull out a switch, I'm like, oh, cool. Oh, they're they're a gamer. Any gamers on this flight? Hmm? I wish there was a way to tell the gamers on this flight. And then I see them pop open Mario Kart. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty nice. Good. But if they opened up, like, Danganronpa or something, even Ace Attorney, I might be like... Actually, no. Ace Attorney is fine. I like Ace Attorney. In I some cases, that. that may be true, but we really have to point out the Senron Kagura series. I like Ace Attorney. I should... Ace Attorney's good. It is oh my god! The occasional flashes of self-censored nudity either. The skimpy outfits and boob physics would make anyone think you might have problems, and they wouldn't care if you were playing for the fighting game mechanics, the third-person shooter gameplay, or heaven forbid, the story. Oh my god! Are you, you allowed to play this on Twitch? But if you're gaming outside of your home, maybe avoid booting this one up if you don't want bystanders judging. I hate Japan. Why would Japan do this? I'll never forgive them. Number Stop. seven, Dante's Inferno. And such dire lament. It's so issues. weird, dude. Come only from those who are truly wretched, suffering, and forever lost. Much like the Binding of Isaac, Is this game Dante's that bad? Inferno holds some religious overtones. Unlike The Binding of Isaac, it holds a lot of graphic violence and imagery. Now, considering how big Sony's God of War has become, which is the kind of game Dante's... Where, how would you play so this copy. in public, by the way? Wait a minute. <laughs> this isn't on, like, a portable console. Are you carting around your PS3? The ultra violence wouldn't oh, it's on PSP? Really okay. <laughs> Maybe at, like, a LAN cafe or something, I guess? Although there are two specific moments in the game where you'll hope wandering eyes aren't around you. One shows a nude woman under a blanket, while another shows a rather revealing depiction of Satan. Those who have played will know what we're talking about. I think. And all that is good I prefer the book. Shall be gone from the universe. Number six, Catherine. Let's go! Where you're in this danger? game goes crazy! No. no, where you actually die. In general, Catherine was yet another home run. The best thing about Catherine. I'm I'm not even kidding. I love Catherine. The best thing about Catherine is that the stakes are mad low. The problem with anime is it always does this bullshit like the fate of the world and the light of the darkness. You you'll you will never defeat me. I will defeat you. I have my friends. I feel sorry for you because you don't have any friends. I don't need friends. I have the power of a god. I'm a god now. But you don't have any friends because you're god and I killed you. Oh, he has friends. But Catherine is, like, super, like, this one guy's problem. It's really a lot of guys, but it, it's only focused on this one guy. Delivered unto us by Shin Megami Tensei It's really Atlas. cool. A man finds himself trapped in a love triangle. Anime Tra other than Shonen exists. Name one. ...to choose between his terrible fiancé and a deadly succubus disguised as an alluring young lady. Cowboy Bebop, Spike has friends. <laughs> He begins experiencing nightmares that cause him to suffer from paranoia and delusions. Dude, the baby monster in this game is so scary. Who's that? Uh, what, what are you doing here? It's horrific, yes, but it also boasts an extremely well-written cast. The worst the part about this right this Catherine, game though, though is the writing for the long-term game girlfriend. with hearts and sexual overtones. And you're a perv for simply wanting challenging puzzles and an excellent story. So they try to set up this story where it's like, do you want this new sexy hot girl that's into you or your old nagging bitch of a long-term relationship? But like, it's very clear your old girlfriend is like, really, there's like no chemistry. That's the issue that happens. The old girl is like, not fun to be around. I hated them both. Really? <laughs> I was like, oh, the new girl's fun. She's silly. She's, you know, enjoy, like, whatever. I think I ended up going to Mars, though. That's something that can happen in the game. No, no, this is just a nightmare. Oh, there's the baby monster. Yeah. 
I hate women. Will I enjoy? Oh Number yeah. Five. Oh yeah. Doki There's Doki an ending Literature for you. Club. You can go to hell, or you could go to Mars, Speaking or the moon. I think maybe. Heart shape. Doki Doki Literature Club has become notorious for its lengthy facade. Why is everybody saying skip? Can I not? Am I not allowed to? For a while, you're led to believe it's a dating sim until it begins showing disturbing text and imagery, thrusting you into a horrific tale. It just sucks. Come on. Everybody loves Doki Doki. I know about it. I just, everybody wants me to play it. I'm not There's simply no convincing a total stranger that you're not an oddball. Whether you're caught looking at a suggestive image of one of the characters being super close to you or witnessing one of their terrifying deaths, chances are you will be seen as a creep. With the expanded version on the Nintendo Switch, you might not want to play this on the go. Number four, Dead or Ugh, Alive series. That's a spoiler. Yeah, don't play this. Don't play this ever. Even the most hardcore fans will admit that no one really plays the Dead or Alive games for the story. Oh, you play it for the tight controls, unique mechanics, and insane combos. Wait, the characters can wear skimpy outfits in these fights? You know, this entire time we've played Dead or Alive, we never even noticed, we swear. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys a story. I think a lot of you already know this, but in case you guys don't know this. Uh, hold on. Oh, God, what's the... That's it. I think a lot of you guys already know this story. <laughs> but in case you don't, I have a story from for from you for you about fighting games and skimpy outfits. Oh no, did you guys get ads? That sucks. So back at Evo, <laughs> this is on Know Your Meme because I don't know where else to go. Back at Evo, which is the biggest fighting game tournament in the world, okay? There was an issue. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, is it gone? There is an issue because of Dead or Alive. I actually thought it was something else. The game was paused as a character was performing a powerbomb move. Oh, I thought it was Armika. Is it not? Was it not Armika? Oh, it was this. <laughs> this does not reflect Evo's core values. That's what it was. They got in trouble for that. No, I thought that they made someone change their costume. Somebody was playing as Armika or Kami. Was it Kami? It was DOA on exhibition in Evo Japan. I'm thinking of something else. Both. Okay. Uh, Evo Arm... So Armika, I hope I'm saying that right, has an outfit like this. It, oh, here it is. <laughs> Mika too sexy for ESPN. Yeah, they were on ESPN... And Fudo locks in Armika, and he had to change costumes. That's what it was. Thank you. Hello, Panda Global. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, because they were on ESPN. Against, uh, Chun -Li. Chun -Li also has super okay, on. not yet. Not yet. Oh, is it later in a set? Okay, it might have happened later. Though. Winners finals here. He got away with it for a while. Evo. <laughs> that early clap, it's no likely buffered. Oh wait, is it the second one? Genius from Pluto. Now infiltration. Is this more clothes? I can't tell. Have that option against the drop. It looks like a sleep suit. The crouching throw, Pluto in there was baiting throws. That That's more clothes. Okay. The to get out of the corner. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> it was very funny. There's really an interesting system in place where you have to focus on your opponent's movement. No, no, no not, not those kinds of movements. Forget it. No regular schmo will ever understand. It. I'm going to tell this story again for anybody that didn't hear it last time I streamed it. I had a friend in middle school. He wasn't really a friend. His name was Eric. Uh, he was best friends. He was friends with my best friend at the time who was named Gerard. He told us that he bought a copy of DOA Beach Volleyball just to read the manual. He didn't own an Xbox at the time. He's, he bragged about buying just the game. I don't know if that's true or if he was trying to be cool, but apparently that he he told me that happened. So really about the ever inflating action. The Eric, you horny motherfucker. And yeah, I know. And bouncing Ooh. between characters to learn their moves. Is she supposed to look like Dante? It's like the white hair and the red, I think. Um. 
Number three, Conker's Bad Fur Day. What the damn diddly squat are you doing Dude, in my barn? Dude, have you ever tried to play this game now? It's fucking bad. This game sucks now. It's crazy how bad it aged. Banjo-Kazooie, I think, is still pretty fun. Uh, it, it, it it didn't age great, but this game is bad. I never took talking pitchfork. It was always bad. No, this game was mad fun. Bad fur day is How could you play this in public? Games that unintentionally yeah, actually, that's play. true. <laughs> With more people knowing about the game today, anyone would judge you. Dude, the D-Day level? Set. Oh, my God. Uh, that that I, I hated the, the water level. She's lovely. That's why the wife kicked me out. I, I like the D-Day level once you get into the, the complex. When you're on the beach, it's awful, might be but... Fine for most. What would really get you mislabeled are a handful of highly suggested The undead scenes. mansion area? The curvy I don't remember it being yard, that bad, Vanier, except for the part on, like, the rafters when you're walking the around the bats. The whose brass balls polished to the nth degree. Need we go on? <laughs> now that's what I call a bowel movement. Why did he deliver it that way? What's going on in Number Britain? Two, South Park. Couldn't be it's funny if they tried. South Park, the fractured butthole. <laughs> it's such an easy line to deliver. They're wearing bicycle helmets. Gex line? <laughs> Look, South Park has become so big that it's almost impossible to find someone who has never heard of it or even seen the show in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, so why that would this game said, be bad, we should all know why Stick of Truth and Fractured But Whole should never be played in public. Even watching one episode of the show oh. will tell you how cheeky, overt, exaggerated, violent, and obscene South Park can get. There's a scene in this game that's... These games are actually pretty good. These games are good. But there is a scene in this game that is uh, very over the top. Yeah. Do you remember Nazi fetus? Oh, that's not even the one I was thinking of. <laughs> I was thinking of a different one. Why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good. Yeah. He doesn't remember. So imagine how far. But no, it's a good game. It's a good game. Behind TV censors and is given the power to make players interact with the world. It ain't rated M for just the jokes and language. But beware, the lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go. Before I'm kind of glad they haven't made a damn. They, they transitioned perfectly into the 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 common watch mojo ending. That's crazy. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. It's a good game if you like South Park. Well, yeah, that's not that that's implied. Uh, you're not. Uh, come on. I'm not, I don't have to say, like, Mario Odyssey is a good game if you like Mario. It's like, yeah, it's a good game if you're into that. Come on. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch it's on It's the only good South Park game? The, the superhero one was worse. Yeah. Number one, Bayonetta series. Ah, yeah. Well, it's not that bad. I remember her shooting the dick off an angel. And I was like... Bayonetta is absolutely the game where a parent might call the police on you if you were to play it in a public setting. A passing glance is that might a not chain chomp? A parent might call the police on you if you were to play it in a public. Where's she gonna chain chomp? Huh? In the Nintendo port? Oh, I've only played uh, Bayonetta one, and I didn't really like it. I thought it was okay. The story was kind of annoying, and like it's just Japanese nonsense. Uh. And the gameplay is like, I'm not a big, like, DMC character action guy. A passing glance might not register much. It's a game where a woman is beating the I don't like the, the games There's where, like, you play the same levels over on. and over to get, whatever, like, high ratings no or whatever. They're fun in the moment, but you know what I mean? You she cast a band out of three for a living, though. That's true. Soon That's true. Realize that Good our point. titular protagonist gets more revealing as she uses more devastating attacks. And that goes without mentioning some suggestive shots in the cutscene. There's just no way to explain yourself out of it. Trust me, little one. He's not my type. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Nah. I don't know about more awesome gaming content. I think uh, chat tried to pick some awesome gaming content and got some stinkers. So I think no more awesome gaming content. All right, last Watch Mojo video. This one's for me. Female con this one's for me. <laughs> I love this one. 
Top 20 most controversial reality shows ever. Please don't give me banned. I'm yeah. a little Please don't give me banned. The secret. Because you know what our show is like. Yeah. Please don't give me banned. Yeah. Number one has to be Jerry Springer, Love right? That. Welcome to I wanted Strange Animals. Strange Animals will be back next time. Along with uh, top 10 ridiculed inventions that became successful and creepiest things on Google Earth. But this one's for Cody. Mojo. And today, we're counting down Number one has to be Jerry Springer, top right? Top 20 controversial reality shows. I love guys? trash TV. I really do. No? We know. Yeah. <laughs> we know. This is, like, regular. Uh -huh. Yes. It's bad. For this list, we'll be looking at reality. Okay. Number 20, Are You Hot? <laughs> I tried watching this on stream for like 15 minutes and I was like, we can't do this. Dude, this show is so funny. I was like, this would be funny to stream and then I watched it for 15 minutes. I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> Plenty of reality shows prioritize This show is crazy. But few do it as flagrantly as this ABC competition did. For months, our casting experts have scoured the country to bring you the sexiest people in America. Now, you may not always think that our competitors are quite that hot, but the important thing is they think they are. Contestants vied to be named America's sexiest man or woman. This show is judges crazy. judges like Lorenzo Lamas and Rachel Hunter evaluating their physiques. <laughs> Where's the twist? There is none. They literally just come out and they're like, hot. Not, and then they just walk away. That's literally the whole show. show as yeah. shallow stop, as stop, 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 stop. 7.5 and overall sex appeal, a six. And while producer Mike Fleiss said the goal was to, quote, give viewers what they want, it seems <laughs> what they wanted was contestants they could root for for reasons beyond. That guy is hot, though. Want, it seems what they wanted was contestants they could. That's a hot guy, bro. He's got the gunners, too. This guy is the most. 2001 man I've ever seen. That's Lorenzo Lamas? Or for reasons beyond God, he's got the gunners. Are You Hot earned Wicked. a chilly reception and ended after its first season. Number 19. Top henchman type Here dude. <laughs> Honey Boo Boo. A bad review is one thing, uh, but calling something a, quote, horror story posing as a reality television yeah. program is another thing. Scary. <laughs> this one's sad. This poor kid. Dude, things were really fucked up in, like, the mid-2000s. Uh. And the show was canceled. But to many, it shouldn't have aired in the first place. Number 18, Born in the Wild. No where way! Number 8. She's pregnant. No fucking way! What? Born in the Wild. This was a TV show? In a hospital? At home? Either way, you wouldn't qualify for this lifetime reality show about people giving birth outside. And by outside, we mean outside in the wilderness. What the I'm fuck? I'm excited to have my baby outside in Alaska. In Alaska? The, lake, the trees and the clouds and the mountains is absolutely breathtaking. Births were depicted without any guaranteed use of medical guidance or modern resources to ensure a safe and healthy birth. Many I mean, they the have camera people, right? Safe birthing practices, which executive producer Yoshi Stone countered by saying there were resources available yeah. and safety measures put in place. I would imagine but it's Born for in the, the Wild didn't make it to old age, ending after its six episode first season. <laughs> Number 17, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Okay, this one's boring. Rich Don't care about that one. On the air for Is that? But many I, when he sees okay, no, that's not. People are going. I don't care about that one. 16, Blockman. Think only America is capable of making trashy reality shows? Then you luckily haven't heard of Blockman, a truly appalling talk show that aired for six episodes in Denmark. Not what I thought he was going to say. First question he ever asks on the show. Good. Creator and host Thomas Blockman and another male guest would talk about the body of a woman who undressed in front of them. If you think that sounds sexist, you're not alone. What? Called the, quote, most sexist show in history. 
Dude, this is just a plot to get women to undress on TV. This is so transparent. For its chauvinistic premise. What if a we're naked sure if woman walked on a set? Hmm. Gave it the axe. But we're How do we make that artistic? Blockman. He doesn't care about the criticism, it says. He, it was just go to the strip club, yeah. What the fuck? Ungratefulness is the only thing that can really wear Holy down the shit. geniuses who reside in this country. Remember, I'm giving you something you've never seen before. Oh, he's an artist. He's an artist, Number yeah. 15, Boy Meets Boy. A reality dating show featuring gay contestants? That's a great idea. Oh, no. But a reality dating show based on deception and dishonesty is a terrible idea. Everybody's out to get well, this Well, straight people have that, too. Well, for a lot of drama. That's exactly what viewers got with Boy Meets Boy, is there a Bravo's ill-fated attempt at a gay-focused reality show. The show was about a man looking for another man to be his special someone. Uh -huh. The cruel twist was that some of the contestants, unbeknownst to the star oh, and their no. fellow competitors, were straight. You are not allowed to ask directly any of the mates what that's their sexual insane. orientation is. And the second rule is you're not allowed to. Okay, that's fucked up. Dude, the early 2000s no, were fucking insane. Understood? Understood? Yes. They just put anything on TV, James man. Getzlaff said he quote felt betrayed by the show. Modern. What? How do they make money if you fool the guy into thinking that you're you're get this is don't put this one on YouTube. Can, take this one off. Take this one off. <laughs> what the fuck? Number fourteen. Holy shit. The pickup artist. This you show was funny. Go to bars and try to use their powers of seduction on any woman they can find. No, these shows were clearly made to laugh at these guys. I've seen this show. Boom. boom. Interest, interest, interest. Who is that guy? They are not designed Would to make them look cool. Would you ever want to watch a whole show dedicated to them? They are not supposed to be cool. Might, as it aired two seasons it of the so Pickup wild. Artist. The show followed Pickup Artist Eric Mystery Von Markovic as he mentored contestants in the art of getting dates in any What is situation. this quality? Well, it seems to be working for you. You've, you've, yeah. You have a TV Just show. Just like on QuickTime. You teach uh, uh, nerds. Eight, eight lovable lonely. L eight lovable lonely what guys. dad never taught them. While Mr. Is that Eminem? That's what I thought. His, His nose is too pointy, though. Pseudoscience. And the show was also exposed as dishonest about who some of the competitors actually were. The pickup artist was thankfully put down. Number 13, The Swan. As demeaning as Are You Hot was, The Swan oh, reached yeah. a whole new level of cruelty. <laughs> this Fox reality show featured female contestants <laughs> deemed unattractive who underwent various cosmetic surgery procedures for the chance to compete in a beauty pageant. Are you guys noticing a pattern, by the way? All these shows taking place in like 2001 to 2005? This just... People hadn't figured it out yet. You had real world and then American Idol and they're like, I don't know, put ugly people on TV, maybe, but they can't actually be ugly. We got to try to make them pretty. Dr. Hayworth, what was your plan for Sylvia? Well, in addition to total body life, maybe people should just eat like pig penis. Sylvia I don't know. Key surgical maneuvers. And have tarantulas <laughs> crawl on their face. That sounds like the TV. The title came from the contestants being seen as, quote, ugly ducklings. The show was blasted for promoting unhealthy body images and equating conventional good looks with being a good person. Entertainment Weekly even named it as the worst reality show of all time. No. No. Heavens no. Absolutely not. There's much worse. The Swan somehow aired for two seasons, and the only thing ugly about it was the show itself. Two seasons is mad funny, because, like, I feel like when you pitch something like this, you don't expect them to take, a, take, to take the first season. So you get the first one, and you try to, like, set up your exit plan. You have your exit strategy, you know what I mean? To get out, you're like, okay, well, whatever. They bought onto the first one. We'll just move on to the next show. Then you get a second season. That's payout. Number 12. You get two Dance seasons? Mom. That's dude. Dancing Mal got great addicted to the show. But we wouldn't wish Abby Lee Mal watched this show a lot anyone. like two years this week, ago. <laughs> I'm gonna check out it's insane. All my little ones. That woman is this woman right here is absurd. Why was this show allowed? I don't know. Thank you, The Machine, for the Prime. By the way, I haven't asked all night. Guys, we're below 2,700. Do you guys have Primes? 
If you have a Prime, just look. Blue stream. Okay, I have a Prime. I can't use it on myself. Help me out, please. Huh? Help a brother out, if you please. Check below the stream. Maybe you have a free sub. If you don't have a free sub, it's okay. It's only four ninety nine a month, which is basically nothing. It's a dollar twenty five a week. You can't afford that. You poor or something, please. If I prime, will you read my name? Yes, right now. For a limited time, if you prime right now, read your name, Mister Dude. Big thanks for the prime. Abby Lee went to prison. Oh, is that that's who that was? Okay. Thank you, Pizza Waffle. See, read my name first. No. I know what you're going to try to do. I'm not falling for it. Thank you, Chaos Composer. <laughs> We're back at 2,700. See? See? I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you. Thank you, you boy JT. Thanks, Ang Bebop. Thanks, Fatal Funny. Thank you. See? All I had to do is ask. Thank you, Mr. Magenta. Cryonic Taco. Damn, I should do this more. I should do this once every, like, 10 minutes. Thank you, Poopado. 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 Like, like, much ado. Thank you, Pikachu Man Zap. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Don't poop, boy. Stop with the poop, boy. You're forcing a meme. It's not going to work. Come this on. Is Insane. Uh, this show is crazy, too, because I don't know if it was her, but there was one, like, normal mom. And it's like, it was so weird because all the other moms were just fucking absurd, right? Clearly trying to live through their daughters. But there was one mom on the show that was, like, well-adjusted and normal and rational. But, like, every season there was that one mom, and it's like, what are you doing here? Get out of there. Why are you still on this show? <laughs> I forget what her name was. Mal, watch this shit? Dude, yes. Mal, we both love trash TV. Truly. It was, listen, it was after it was already off the air. She also watched The Nanny in its entirety. This is not a joke. She watched The Nanny all the way through, starring Fran Drescher. Pretty funny show, actually. Not bad. The absurd thing is that any of these shows get greenlit in the first place. Oh, they get worse. Yeah, it, it, there was a lot of, like, there's a lot of time, you know, right after you have a baby, you gotta, like, you know, there's a lot of, like, laying on the couch while the baby sleeps. You know, the baby's nursing. You gotta put something on. It was the nanny. Number 11. My <laughs> husband's not gay. Our concept of love and attraction... Wait, this is, is 2015. Evolving, but we can't imagine ever being okay with the premise of this TLC This is show. modern. My husband's not gay followed married Mormons in Salt Lake City, in which the husbands professed attraction to other men. When I'm out with the guys, yeah, we'll, we'll look at other guys, for sure. What's the danger score? Uh... The danger scale is a way to bring out some of the inner feelings and figure out, oh, okay, that is attractive to me, and I didn't what? even realize it. However, since they didn't act on their romantic instincts is... and were married to women, they were deemed as not being gay. Wait, so this is just repressed homosexuality on national TV? What? The show was criticized for treating being gay as something that can be changed instead of being an innate part That's... of someone's being. And a petition calling for it not to air received more than a hundred thousand signatures. I found it's more. Why would TLC, dude? I remember when TLC was like the smart channel. What the fuck? Why would TLC ever air this? Like, to just why is TLC shit posting? Is a beautiful man. While the show they only were the aired smart channel a single documentary it still goes down as one of the most what a reality pivot. shows ever number 10 sister wives Another 2010 to now marriage is polygamy in which one person is married to many sister wives spotlights this kind of union through patriarch cody brown and his wives mary well, janelle christine and robin i like my time with cody is this one that bad this one just seems like a peek into the life of uh, Mormons living a different... I don't know enough about this. I should probably... I, I'll stop talking. <laughs> all right. I, I, don't, I don't know. It feels like it's... Pe uh, it's okay. All right. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm done. I'm done. This started in, in 2010, and it says it's still on. Number nine. The moment of truth. Oh my god. Dude, this is one of the most Fox shows you could ever see. <laughs> this show rules? 
it is extremely uncomfortable. This show is brutal. Considering the fact lie detector tests are wrong a lot. <laughs> They're wrong pretty often. They could ruin someone's life and get them no money. There is this could, you could go on this show. Okay, so the premise of the show, I'm going to explain it. So the premise of the show is you take a lie detector test and they ask you questions and it's just like is your name David? And it's like <laughs> true. And then it's just, that's like number 1. And then it gets up to like number 8 where it's like do you regret marrying your husband and not your best friend? Do you feel like you've wasted your life? Do you regret having children at a young age? And their children are in the audience watching this happen. And if they lie, they get no money. But if they tell the truth, they keep getting more and more money. But if you lie, not only does it say you lied, you get no money anyway. So you ruin your life for nothing. The show is fucking crazy. I guess you would just have to say the truth. Probably the best one to do it. There's one where a guy confesses, confesses the cheating on his wife. Yeah, and both his wife and the mistress are in the crowd watching. And Fox is just like, tours. <laughs> tours. They got the cameras. Tours. It's crazy, dude. This show's insane. And I would love to watch it on Twitch, but I always feel a little dirty doing it. I feel like I couldn't watch a whole episode. We love gross. game shows for how they test knowledge and being able to stay cool I under can't. pressure. But this unpleasant Fox show was rooted in embarrassment. Have you ever suspected one of your friends <sighs> of making a play for Katya? Contestants were given lie detector tests and asked extremely... There's an interview with the host of this show and he hated it. Yeah. If their responses were this would do truthful, psychological damage. Huge cash prizes. Who would willingly Based do on this? A Colombian game show, the moment uh, of truth people who really want to be on TV. That's actually it. Like, it's not even money. It's not even money. You could go on fucking Jeopardy, right? Like, you could get on at any game show. You you want fame. You want attention. And this game gives you a lot of that because you get to be in the hot seat. You know what I mean? Left too much room for humiliation. I don't know how much money is on the line, though. Enjoy. Max. Have you ever been paid <laughs> oh my God. for sex? At times, it felt like both the contestants and the oh viewers God, were being dude. punished. We'd be lying if we said we ever wanted a return. It's so on uncomfortable, this show. man. Number eight. Who's your dad? <laughs> Meeting the father you've never known can be an incredibly emotional and personal experience. This <laughs> show. Okay. I'm a little nervous. All right. <laughs> I know you are too. <laughs> why? Why did you guys have to give me up for adoption? It was so very <laughs> turbulent. This is like th this is like one of those fake shows that would be on like BoJack Horseman, right? This this shouldn't exist on in this reality or this universe, and yet here we are. In other words, it shouldn't be used as fodder for a reality show. But that's exactly what Fox did with Who's Your Daddy. The uncomfortable <laughs> premise is that a woman who's never known her father must guess who he is among a group of men in order to win a hundred thousand dollars. Adoption groups protested oh the my show God. for being a powerful experience. What if you tricked her? What if you spent the... Did she win? I hope she won. I hope she won the show. <laughs> what a shitty finale. Gotcha! <laughs> I'm rich! And viewers just weren't interested. Oh. How are you? Good to see you. Who's your daddy? You don't know who your daddy She was is. tricked. It wasn't Only her real one father. one episode of the show aired, as it was apparent that Who's Your Daddy was a dud. Oh, Number only one episode aired? Hold on. Hold on. Who's your daddy show? Surely she had to get... I, I guess if it never aired... Oh, it was a primetime 90-minute special because they couldn't get any other episodes. Oh, here we go. Myers guessed which one of the eight men was her father. She guessed correctly and won $100,000. Okay. 
The pilot aired as a special and not as a series premiere, so technically it was canceled before airing. Dude, that's got to suck. How much money did they spend on this? These shows are not cheap. These shows are so expensive to film. Good for her. Verse 7. There's something about... 100% rigged? I mean, like, if the show's canceled anyway. Yeah, fuck it. She won. Yeah, she won, I guess. I don't know. Decades, the only depictions of transgender people you could find on TV were exploited. Okay, one. I'm not... I'm gonna skip this one. This one... It, the only... I didn't even know this was a show. Number 7. There's something... Yeah, I'm go we're gonna go... We're gonna go ahead and go right past that one. <laughs> We're not gonna. We're not even gonna look at that. Pregnancy is an important issue that shouldn't be. Ignored, I think you guys could guess that one. Be the focal point of a reality show either. For Carly's Fuck. birthday, I shared the video we recorded of Nova singing "Happy Birthday" on a text Dude. thread we have with Carly's parents, Brandon and Teresa, and Dawn, our adoption. That kid was thread. dialed in. We have with this kid is hacking. Carly's parents, Brandon and Teresa, gonna get into the government mainframe. Adoption counselor. Chronicling the lives of young mothers, this MTV show has earned both high ratings and high controversy. So this show is mad exploitive, but I wonder how many people it, like, stopped from making babies. This was, like, scared straight for a generation. Sincerely. Like, if you were around that age and you saw this happening, I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, God. <laughs> I, I I should wrap it up. It had the opposite effect. What, you think people... Oh, like glamorizing the moms? Oh, they're so strong. Look at all the love that the baby brings into their home. I could see that, actually. I could see it going the other way, too. Fuck. You get pregnant and you get on the TV? <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah, actually, that I could see it going the other way. We shouldn't put any of this in the YouTube video, by the way. I think we have to cut it off after the last one. So, editor, if you're watching up to this point, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like we can't. I don't know if I'm allowed to show any of this. Uh, hey, if you made it this far, th you know what? Let it rock. Whatever. Good luck. Oh, God. For potentially glamorizing teen pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> While MTV has argued that the show's purpose was to show how demanding teen motherhood can be, that's how I took it, but I could see the other way. By making stars out of its subjects. Getting pregnant at 17 made graduating from high school almost impossible. I'm just gonna have to no, be I'm never mind. My opinion flipped. I was gonna say I could see MTV like uh, trying to pull this whole like this is how this is real life this is how hard it is but knowing MTV and corporations they definitely were like oh no it's to help people we're trying to save lives <laughs> that's on me no more school <laughs> MTV the paragon the of morals no you're right you're right airing correlated with a decline in teen births suggesting Wait. That fine that the show's airing correlated with a decline in teen births Changing lives. We're not just telling stories. Suggesting that it might be having some positive effect after all. Number Correlation five. equals Bridal causation. Plasty. Weddings Every are time. considered sacred ceremonies in many cultures. Bridal plastic. However, when it comes to reality TV... You get a wife that looks totally different from the woman you intended to marry. <laughs> you lift up the veil and it's a Bogdanoff. <laughs> Surprise! Or <laughs> do TV, nothing is sacred. Enter Bridalplasty, a show That's so tough. shallow, we don't even know how to begin measuring it. On this <laughs> e-network show, soon-to-be brides compete in various challenges in hopes of winning plastic surgery procedures to get the, quote, perfect body for their wedding day. You will walk down the aisle, you will see your husband for the first time. Do they do sex ed in middle slash high school yet? I didn't learn shit in school. Probably depends where you live. I had sex ed in high school, not in middle school. But if you live in, like, the Bible Belt or something, they probably don't teach you any of that shit. Brand new you. We can't begin or they to teach you the wrong how thing, problematic right? that is. Probably depends. And the show was seen both as an indictment on reality TV in general, as well as the impossible beauty standards put upon women. Anyone who's been married knows it takes trust and honesty for a marriage to last, not cosmetic surgery. I was so nervous sitting there. It was a lot harder to answer the question. Wait, so I'm confused. What's this show? One who's been as well as that is brand new you. 
we can't begin to describe how problematic that wait i'm confused what are they saying happened on this show what compete for plastic surgery for their wedding okay so they're competing like i i want a new nose before i get married like, I, I feel insecure about my nose, so I want to get it changed before I get... Is it... Okay. It takes trust and honesty for a marriage yeah, that's to wild. last, Holy shit. not cosmetic surgery. I was so nervous sitting there. It was a lot harder to answer the questions than I thought it was going to be. But Scott's my best friend. We tell each other everything, so I think that we're going to be okay. Thankfully, bridoplasty <laughs> was given the knife after one... Five season. lies detected. Number four, Jerry this Springer. This should be higher, bro. To call Jerry Springer trash This should TV be way would higher. Be an insult to garbage. This daytime talk show was seen by many as epitomizing everything wrong with modern society. This show was Hosted insane. by former mayor of Cincinnati, Jerry Springer, the show specialized in sensationalistic topics and outrageous guests. Things would often turn ugly, leading to bouts of so, physical violence. When I was, uh, I have many lovers. Actually, these I could probably get some YouTube titles out of Jerry Springer. I bet, cause like these titles. Actually, that's a good idea, cause these titles are designed to get you to stop channel surfing. All Jerry Springer titles. You're, you're like going through the channels, flipping up and down, and then you see that. You're like, wait, what? That's what I need. Hmm. I have many lovers with eight exclamation points. That's interesting. Hmm. Might need to do a little homework tonight. The Jerry Springer of Twitch. <laughs> Speaking of exploitive content, bro, how do you guys feel about people watching... The Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. I I don't really like it. I think it's weird. But also, like, I guess bringing awareness to it. You know, like like trying to showcase. Like, it's modern culture, right? It's like a, it's, it's something that will probably have a profound effect. Uh, it sets a precedent for male abuse cases, right? And defam uh, uh, defamation cases. But at the same time, it feels very like these are these people's lives, right? That's personal shit. I mean, I agree, but it's also like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, right? And I feel like I saw that that thing of Amber Heard, you know, she was crying and then she stops to make sure she gets the right camera. And, you know, stars, I don't know. They're high profile. Yeah. I, feels like we're shoving ourselves into a private thing. Yeah, but I, I, I wonder how much of it is also the private thing is being shoved out for publicity, right? I don't know where the lines are. I don't know how much they are, you know, consenting to make this, because this is going to affect their careers, maybe in a positive way, uh, for Depp anyway. But it's been public for a while. He wanted it to be public. Yeah, but that's, he wanted it to be public likely because he knew that people would turn on her case, right? Whatever, it's fucking, the whole thing seems weird to me, and I see, like, people talking about it and, like, making memes and stuff, and it's like, fine, whatever, it's, but it just feels like, uh, you know? I feel like I shouldn't be watching this. None of the other trials were public? Okay. I don't know anything about it. I've just been vaguely keeping up, so. TV Guide named it the worst show of all time in 2002. And there was also Shut up, TV Guide. <laughs> whether or not aspects were staged. I'm not going to fucking After listen to TV Guide. And perhaps millions Get the of fuck out of here. Jerry Springer ended for good in 2018, much to the relief of many. Worst Number of all three, time. Kid Nation. Let's go! Children <laughs> we love Kid Nation. Controversial. But Kid Nation stokes that controversy even further. Bro, I was just saying, wow, it feels really weird and exploitive to watch these people's lives get ruined in front of our eyes. And now I'm popping off for Kid Nation, which is a show that ju that dumps a lot of 8 to 14 year olds in the desert without adult supervision. The premise of this CBS we are all hypocrites. show <laughs> is that 40 children between 8 and Life makes fools of us all. are tasked with creating a functioning society in a New Mexico <laughs> ghost town. Some younger than 8? I think there was like a 6 year old, but I I think he went no home, right? Anywhere. And their leaders? They're kids too. 
It's the first ever. Bro, this guy's got the most powerful lavalier mic I've ever seen. While things didn't reach Lord of the Flies levels of chaos, the show still drew plenty of concern Love over this safety show. and exploiting child labor loopholes. I'm starting to get really, really sad around here. At one of the points, they're probably going to talk about it, but they cleaned all the pans, but they used too much bleach or, like, detergent or something when they did it, and they, like, made it in the big pot, and then they all got sick. <laughs> or one kid got really sick, I think. Something like that. Horrible. Because they made the kids, like, wash all the ditches and shit Many and use the detergents. Many advertisers opted not to it was be bleach? associated yeah, with okay. the show as well. However, the controversy did so funny translate forehead. into ratings, and Kid Nation was canceled after one Wait, season. Wait, did not it didn't translate into ratings? Damn, you put on this big ass show and nobody even watches it. Oh my god, this feels like when you feel like you have a phenomenal clickbait idea and it goes ten of ten. And Kid Nation was canceled oh. after one season. We're That's not gotta kidding sting when we so say bad. that this show was a bad idea. TV fear Pretty number one, bar. no way. Much of the controversy was around the show's disgusting food challenges, in which contestants would eat things that could make you ill on sight alone. There were also well, concerns about animal welfare, with some trainers refusing to be involved. Uh, the shock okay. factor ended up sure. attracting viewers, even if many of them were watching through their hands. Now this and the is show clickbait. was revived multiple times. She's straight. She's straight. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I feel like the food thing is like all the foods are delicacies technically in some part of the world, right? Isn't that the intention? Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like they never ate anything that was supposed to be like, no, really? I thought it's uh, like, you know, they had like horse intestine. I thought, you know, some place that's a good thing, right? They ate a blended rat. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe I. Sometimes the streamer misses. Sometimes he makes a mistake. What's important is how I learned from this mistake and how we move forward. I hope you will forgive me. <laughs> I I I do remember them eating horse cum. So I, you know, on on further reflection, uh, <laughs> perhaps I was misguided. There, there, there. The scary guys, we dropped below 2700 again. If you got primes, check below the stream. You might have a free sub, huh? I said I was sorry. Go ahead and subscribe. This thing about Fear Factor might be just how popular it was. <laughs> Before we continue, be what's sure number to subscribe one to our channel and ring the bell to get notified Thanks, about our latest videos? You have the option Thanks, to Trevine. be notified for occasional videos. Mori, no way. South Park, no. Thanks, Silas. Aerosol cheese, thank you. Tattoo show? Black White? I don't even know what that show is. Penn and Teller? <laughs> or all of them. If you're Controversial because they're like, yeah, yeah, fucking lying. He's not doing me that magic. Phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch Mosquitoes. on notifications. Mosquitoes, okay. Number one. Toddlers and tiaras. Sure. Unsurprisingly, the show that gave us Honey Boo Boo okay. is controversial in its yep. own right. Yep, yep, Toddlers yep, yep, yep. and tiaras sure, brought sure, sure. viewers yep. into the world of child beauty pageants right. and showed just how uncomfortable of an institution they can be. Uh -huh. I didn't win today, but I did say the books in the Bible. The young contestants were depicted as being dressed provocatively and having procedures Dude. such as eyebrow waxings done to them. This show, as somebody with a daughter now, this makes me so sad. Unironically. Like, seeing this is just, like... It might have been the parents making these decisions. I don't know, but man. toddlers and tiaras still managed to get a national platform. Do you feel like it's good this was on TV, though? So people see it and they're like... They realize this world exists. Oh, you guys got mad ads? <laughs> no? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Part of me feels like this should have been on TV for one season, so they're like, yeah, this shit's happening. And then we outlaw it. You need this on TV to be like, bro, look. <laughs> look what's happening in the South. Something's wrong down there. Fix it. That's crazy. Soy point? <laughs> it's not a soy point. Not at toddlers and tiaras. As a documentary, sure. That's a good point, yeah. Probably it has to be presented in a different manner. 
not like celebrating this, right? I guess tone matters a lot. That's a good point. Man. Google black white. Black white reality show. 2006. Reality TV show on FX. Series premiered on March 2006. Two families of three, one white, one black. Through studio quality makeup, the two... I don't like where this is going. The Wurgles and the Sparks traded races. Despite the white family being called the Wurgles, the three participants were not a real family. <laughs> okay. All right. So they're not even an actual family. Is there... Is there uh, is the black family a, a real family? Okay, yeah. Only so the white family's not real. Uh the show is produced by Ice Cube and RJ Cutler. Got it. Well, one black, one white, sure. Okay. So far so good, right? Very diverse uh produce production credit. Okay. Uh the series theme song was Race Card, performed by Ice Cube, produced by Warren G. Okay. Series ran for five weeks, ending with a double episode finale. <laughs> oh, my God. No matter what conclusion you come to, you should be grateful for the care producers RJ Cutler and David Maldonado took in executing it. They had to... Hold on. Far from a cheap reality stunt... The provocative documentary series is an endlessly curious and unexpectedly intelligent social experiment. I don't believe you. Play the intro. I will get banned. I saw Soda Poppin get banned for, for making a blackface character. No. This show is so fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, this was an actual sketch on SNL, right? I think Eddie or Eddie Murphy did whiteface and like walked around New York City or something. It was like a skit, a skit. So like this isn't even like a unique idea, you know? That was Dave Chappelle. No, Dave Chappelle did it later. He had like the white newscaster character, right? But that was scripted, yeah. The show is being sold on the race switch trick, but tonight's premiere is built around a far more mundane stunt, putting people you know won't get along into close quarter situations. So they, they want them to fight? What? Black middle class family from Atlanta. Brian gains access to white culture when he lands a job as a bartender while in white makeup. Excellent work, 47. Those whites sure do like to go to the bar. <laughs> they love going to the bar. That's white culture. I guess it's Irish culture, right? A bitter argument erupts when Renee and Carmen over the use of racially charged... Oh, God. That cha charged language is when Carmen calls Renee a... <laughs> well, that's more sexually charged, right? That's... Rose is torn over revealing her true color to her new friends in the poetry group or maintaining her cover. Oh, my God. Lockhorns over language and behavior. That seems to be a consistent thing. Bruno and Carmen encounter hostility in an all-white country western bar. Oh, God. And Nick's fascination with the gangster hip-hop lifestyle raises... Oh, God. After experiencing racism for the first time, Carmen becomes disheartened with Bruno's obstinate views and expresses serious concerns about their future together. What? Rose struggles to fit in with her black friends when Nick states he doesn't mind his etiquette classmates using a racial epithet in his presence. Brian and Renee take steps to educate Nick about his cult. Which way are we going here? Like, is Nick, it, is Nick the white kid pretending to be black or the black kid pretending to be white? There's an important distinction. Nick is black pretending. Oh, so he doesn't mind them using an epithet. Oh, he's okay. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it now. Okay. Got it. 
Sure. This is an image for the show. Uh, <laughs> one second. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, dude. An endlessly curious and unexpectedly intelligent experiment. Sure learned a lot. Oh, man. Tensions grow as the families struggle to find common ground. There's no happy ending. They just keep butting heads. <laughs> There's never a point where, like, they come to an understanding. They realize that they have more in common than they might have first believed. No, it just gets worse. It keeps getting worse. Rose develops a crush on a friend from poetry class. Renee develops a new friendship with a Catholic mother that transcends race. And Bruno and Brian reach an impasse over their different interpretation. Oh, it's one of these. It's one of these. Okay. Ah. Uh, got it. <laughs> One of those shows. Both families share the profound impact the six-week project has had on their lives. Yeah, I hate that fucking guy. That guy that you set me up to be on the show with, I hate that guy. I never want to see him again. Rose prepares for her final performance before a live audience of the slam poetry. Oh my god, wait. Was Rose the white girl who now is to be black? And she has to do slam poetry while black. Oh my god. God, dude. That's insane. <laughs> she sang it like Beyonce. She writes a poem about blackface. She comes out as white in the poetry. <laughs> oh my God. Nick spends the day with an ex-gang member, Kenny G. Kenny G. Wait, Kenny G? I thought his name was Kenny G. Renee, but Kenny G, I know that guy. He's not a gang member. He plays the flute. Renee and Carmen make amends, and Brian and Bruno agree to disagree, but Brian goes out with a bang by calling Bruno a racist, and that's how the show ends. <laughs> racist! Boom! Title card. Oh, saxophone. God damn it. Bit ruined. Who plays the flute? One of them plays the flute. Yo-Yo Ma plays the cello. That's the one. Man. Won an Emmy for outstanding makeup. Sure. Fine. I I guess so. I I mean, uh, you know, I get. Uh, sure. I I don't. I. I, I <laughs> best blackface. Yeah, I don't. Like, I, I don't know. Obviously, it shouldn't happen, but if it, if they made it look really good, I guess it's technically impressive, even though it's fucked up. Like, I don't know what to think of that. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> the white face was actually hella impressive. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we'll cut an outro. That's it for Watch Mojo. What a turn we took. Hopefully the editor gets to get to this part. Uh, there's probably a lot that you didn't get to see on YouTube that we were talking about. Uh, you should show up on Twitch instead um, because whew, you missed a lot. But that's for another day. Bye. Say bye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. What a mess. Hope you enjoyed the racial content, YouTube. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Nope. Not going to see any of that. None of that. All right. Well, I had something else I wanted to do tonight, but it's already kind of late. It's 1042, so we'll do some other stuff. I've got some other videos and, and stuff to do. Uh, Do you guys want to know what we're doing tomorrow? I'll tell you. I'm probably going to cut the same... It, well, no, I won't cut the same intro. I already have an intro in mind. Tomorrow, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do this, and I'm so happy that we're doing it. Wheel Champ? No, we're going to do... 
I'm going to do a uh, wheel champ. We're going to spin the wheel tomorrow for Sunday. So we're going to do wheel champ on Sunday. I'm going to spin the wheel to get the topic. I'm trying to build a content backlog because I'm going to be gone the last week of May for an event that I can't tell you about yet. So wheel champ is uh, tomorrow. I'm going to spin the wheel and then you guys get your prompt. I would love to do web surf. If you guys have any websites, please go to websurf.coney.gg. Uh, the sites kind of suck right now. Hold on. Web surf. If you go to websurf.coney.gg, you'll get this site. You could drop uh, a website that you would like me to look at, and the whole stream will look at it. Please, 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 please. When is next cringe confessional? I wanted to do it once every two weeks, but maybe I'll do it once a week. That feels like too much. I feel like it would get burned out. We're definitely doing it next week. Um, Once a month? No, 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 no. Not once a month. I think once every two weeks. I don't want it to get stale. I don't want to burn it out. Yeah. Um, I've got a lot of things that I want to do soon. Uh, Hold on. Let me look at the cringe confessional responses. We are up to... Let me see. Cringe.coney.gg we currently have, oh my god, peep this one, 1,200 responses. Guys, if you have any cringe stories, go to cringe.coney.gg. <laughs> oh my god, if you go to cringe.coney.gg, you're going to get this form, okay? And all you have to do is submit your cringiest story, all right? Just submit what happened to you. It's 100% anonymous, please. We'll do it next week, next Wednesday. How many are poop, though? Probably a ton. So, is Wheel Champ next week? Yeah, we're going to... No, we're doing it Sunday. I'm going to do the prompt tomorrow. I have the wheel right here. We're going to spin this tomorrow. Uh, and then we're going to get the prompt. So, there you go. Hi from YouTube. Hi, three grand. Thanks for stopping by. Coney, will you bring back reactors one day? All right, this is what we're doing tomorrow. I've wanted to do this forever, and I, I'm, I'm finally going to do it. I normally don't spoil what I'm going to do the night before, but I'm very excited for this. Tomorrow, we're doing something I've always wanted to do. We're playing Toreba. I can't fucking wait. If you don't know what Toreba is, I hope I'm saying that right, it's, it's online crane games. I love these. <laughs> I bought a bunch of points. It's basically, it's kind of like Chloe. Yeah. I always watch people play Toreba before I was a streamer. I was like, damn, that looks like fun. Uh, damn, that looks like fun. Uh, I wish I had more money uh, so I could actually do that. Yeah, I didn't like that. I don't know what that was, but what was that? I have no idea. I didn't like it. Do one right now? No, I want this so bad. Never heard of it. It's it's basically they're they're real claw games in Japan, and you play them, and then they ship you the prize for free. There's a Kirby Air fan. He's in a cannon. It's very cute. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing this tomorrow, winning some prizes. Uh, but in the meantime, I got some other stuff I want to look at. <laughs> So, uh, I'm so excited about this, bro. This is about the worst tournament in Fortnite history. Fortnite, as a competitive esport, is the funniest thing in the world to me. I think it's hilarious. And I have to know what's the worst one. <laughs> I must know. Channel is Aussie Antics. Big Fortnite streamer. Big ups. I can't wait. It's in Fortnite tournaments. There have been a lot. I, I, I've said before, I want Fortnite tournaments to literally just be fucking nonsense all the time. I wish they would allow everything and every character and every, like, I want this game to just be chaos. And I hope that's the case. Of stupid moments in Fortnite tournaments. Really laggy? Watch out on your side. Yeah, watch your side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? The mech's tarping in! Is the quality, go oh, it's just the stream. Okay, bitrate down. He's tarping in! <laughs> The mech is on high ground! <laughs> There's a mech? Wait, 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 wait. Kill two. What the fuck? Kill two. Kill two. Kill two. Killing more. Wait, there's a mech in the game? How do you beat this? That shit's huge! Look at the health bar! It is a thousand health before you even get on the inside! Wait, 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 wait. Kill two. 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 Kill
I think everybody should get a mech, bro. New game. They should make a mech battle royale. Wait, what? Is this like low grav? Why is everybody flying? In game event. I fucking love Fortnite, dude. Everybody gets jetpacks. Mid tourney, they had a low grav event happen. That's incredible. Unironically, I love the that. One tournament in particular will go down as the worst tournament in Fortnite history. The 2018 $1 million Winter Royale. One million If you've been dollars. following Fortnite, you already know about this tournament. But in case you don't, let me fill you in. Please do. The I don't know anything. The $1 million Winter Royale was announced by Epic on the 20th of November, 2018. And it was said to be the biggest completely online tournament in Fortnite history. Sick. The excitement was high and competitors began their journey to qualify with the open qualifiers on the 24th and 25th of November open to anyone willing to compete. While the game was far from perfect with a number of frustrating items such as stink bombs. Stink bombs? What is that noise? So, Thank God I'm out of that game. Is it gas? Is it like a poison? That guy just got stunk out? I can't even tell what happened to him. Oh, it's poison. Okay, so... <laughs> Wait, so you can throw a stink bomb and then build a cage around the guy. Just put them in a stinky hell. A war crime? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely against the Geneva Convention. What the fuck? You just hotbox somebody? <laughs> just Dutch oven in Fortnite? Thank God I'm out of that game. Holy shit. There's no fucking point, man. Fortnite is so funny to me because only in this game can something like this happen. Like Thanos kills you with a pickaxe and then twerks on you. And the guy is like smashing his keyboard into bits. You know what I mean? Like John Wick throws a boogie bomb at you and you start dancing. And then John Wick hits you with the Mozambique two in the head, one in the chest. And then he starts doing the like. <laughs> I fucking love Fortnite. I'll never get over it. It's so funny to me. Ultimately, most players were still having fun and all notable pros were able to qualify for the semifinals. <laughs> this, however, was when things really took a turn for the worse with the introduction of update 7.01 and the unveiling of the Infinity Blade. A mythic melee weapon that deals big damage... <laughs> wait. Wait. Does this sword just kill people instant? Is this like a Halo like energy sword? I feel like a sword in a game with guns doesn't seem that crazy. This shit was straight up cheating. Is it? It doesn't seem that bad. I guess if you're building... If you're building, some, you got like a tower to heaven and some motherfucker just goes... <laughs> this takes out your whole complex. What the f*** is Thanos in the game? Sing, 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 <laughs> sing, sing, sing! It's always Thanos. Yeah, it's that in the game. Sing, sing! I, I wasted like 700 mats on that kid. This is anyone's game to win, but Zyxic is not trying to make that happen. It's what? If you are low ground, if you are high ground, he is taking quick care of everyone on the map here. Now again, rejuvenating himself back. Oh, you could health. jump with it? Lands on the perfect just little spot right there, pushes <laughs> everyone down to the high ground. Or to the low ground. Look at this. What the Here, fuck? Is he gonna hit that? Oh. So close. Yeah, there you have Wait, what the fuck? You could just jump? Bro, he jumped like a hundred feet. The whole game is about building, and you don't have to do that. That's actual cheating. You also get double health, and you heal with the kills. How hard is it to get, though? It's got to be really hard to get, right? Unless you just get it randomly. Is it? There's only one on the map. Ah. So you don't have to, like, assemble it. I thought you would have to, like, get five pieces from all over the map or something. Got it. It does have a set spawn. Oh, uh, well, that's not as bad, I guess. We're to low ground. Look at this awkward area. Oh, <laughs> this shit rules. Oh, oh my god. Gets the victory royale. That's how I felt casting Bayonetta, well, the Infinity bro. Blade alone would be enough to make Absurd. any tournament a disaster. Yeah, I feel really bad to the guys I killed. <laughs> 
update was enough to push people over the edge and forever label this tournament Great games, as everyone. the worst in Fortnite's history. The update was launched the morning of semi-finals, meaning players had less than 12 hours to adapt to the Infinity Blade <laughs> being added to the game. That's Imagine amazing. practicing for months for a million dollar tournament. Unironically? And then in the last two weeks, there are airplanes, and now they're on the day of the tournament, million dollar tournament, there is a game, physical game changing sword that can two shot you. Unironically, I think that rules. Not even joking. I think Fortnite should be chaos at all times. I love the idea that you have to play on the latest patch no matter what, and they just throw all kinds of random shit at you. I, I get other games, why they should be more competitively viable or whatever. And I feel like I'm I'm doing what people do about Smash Brothers. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, oh, they should play with items and stages. And honestly, kind of true. I wouldn't mind that. I'd be down for that. Uh, Maybe not at, like, at the top level, but... Easy to say as someone who doesn't actually play the game. If it is, it's very easy for me to say that. Fun, too. It's very easy for me to say. Panda Fortnite tournament when? Do we would rather do uh crazy items or like a like a random stages kind of thing. That'd be fun. I'm saying, dude, I would I I like that Fortnite does that more. Coney is the kind of guy who pretends he's chaotic neutral, but when it actually gets what he wants, he'll keep drowning in pools. I'm not do, gonna do well in Fortnite either way. I've played at multiple Fortnite Mondays, and I did maybe 60 damage a game <laughs> on average. Like I, I have no pretenses, but as a caster, that'd be mad fun watching that. In case you were not playing Fortnite at the time or have forgotten, let me refresh you on how the Infinity Blade worked. Please do. A pole of Tell me all every about it. Single game to be pulled out of the stone by anyone. It would force the player to drop all existing weapons and items, but would increase their health pool oh, to a total shit. of 200 health and 200 He got shields. the blade! Your health and shield would then begin regenerating at a rate of one per second. You would retain the ability to build while also gaining a movement speed bonus. Oh my god. You had two main attacks while wielding the sword. Your first attack was a fast sweeping swing that destroyed any oh build instantly god. and did 75 damage per swing. On top of this, any structures hit with the Infinity Dude. Blade would also grant the wielder material, meaning you could almost instantly How do you hide? find max material by going to any location. It was That was the main problem, I think. It would be a cool concept if one million was not on the line. I think it's better with a million on the line. It's basically a giveaway. This is a sweepstakes. I think it's cool as shit, the idea that somebody that just started playing Fortnite a week ago, and then they add this fucking sword, and this, you know, 18-year-old kid from bumfuck Kentucky finds the sword and changes his life forever. I think that's cool as shit. That's literally Ready Player One. Don't you want Ready Player One in real life? That's amazing. I think that's cool. No one is going to want to play this. I, you know what I think it is? Everybody says that, but it, at the end of the day, it's Fortnite, and if Fortnite is like, hey, 10 million... I, I love the idea that Fortnite could just big dick it with money. Oh, you're not going to enter our, our $50 million tournament where anybody could win? Ah, it's a shame. Everybody's going to enter that fucking tournament. If you get 32nd, you get $500,000. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would love that. I really would. If I had my druthers, I would get Nintendo on the phone and say, give me a budget of $100 million and I will run the most, <laughs> the jankiest, most chaotic, terrible series of events for $100 million. And I won't tell anybody any of the rule sets before they happen. You would show up at the tournament. There would be $20 million on the line. And the only stage allowed is Saffron City from N64. And yeah, you're going to complain and bitch about it. But at the end of the day, that's $20 million, bro. Significant amounts of embezzlement ahoy. All right, well, maybe I'll ask for $100 million And maybe the prize pool will be like $10 million, You know? I got to pay myself, right? For all the time I'm sinking in. Your secondary attack was a giant <laughs> jumping strike that also did 75 damage. I would, would love nonsense tournaments, truly. 
It is not I hard love to that see shit. why an item like this added the morning of a tournament might be a bit of an issue. <laughs> Some people adapted to this change in the meta quickly, such as Chat, who despite having the most powerful item in Fortnite's history, decided to put it to a use in a different way. Dude, you can't be serious with this sh All right, I give up. There's you guys. Dude, you can't be serious. There's a fucking plane in Fortnite. Holy shit. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Just like, I, I've never seen it. I've played a bit of Fortnite. I just have not seen counterplay. Actually, kind of, I guess. You get one shot to jump on that plane. Serious with this sh All right, I give up you guys just trying to get some supporter creator code excuse i have no freaking supporters you guys just keep shooting me it's cool man i didn't need any supporters anyway man once chap had built his masterpiece and had his fun he decided to show everyone just how truly <laughs> terrifying this item was everybody was kung fu fighting what's he doing here i got what? the sword fast as lightning chopping up. i thought he made it he say code chap I can't see what it says. It says code chat. Okay. Fighting. I got the sword fast as lightning. Chopping up kids' dreams like lightning. You thought you were qualifying. I'm frightening. <laughs> Honestly, bro, this is the correct hey, thing to GD, do. Man. After this game, everyone knew that the Infinity he earned Blade the was win. He got the sword to the grand finals, and some who would go on to play second in World Cup was quick to change his original plans, giving us one of the most legendary clips in Fortnite history. Dude, this looks like giving us one. This is insane to me. Look at this this scene that's being set. Everybody in their little wood huts, some of them without even any structure or foundation or support at all. Everybody running around like rats in a maze trying to find each other. This Ewok village in the middle of nowhere. There are still, what, eight people left? 25 people left. That's insane. The final circle village. Is this what happens in pro Fortnite at the end? This is the end of a hunter-gatherer society. <laughs> Dude, I gotta watch more Fortnite. That is amazing. Every time, I love this. I love the idea that at the very end, as the storm is, is coming into its final moments, there's just this final town, this dystopian village, where everybody has to fight for the smallest resources. One of the most Amazing. legendary clips in Fortnite history. Landshark just took out Poach in the he's feed. Just, he's just breaking it up, though. He's not even really fighting players. Oh, this player's gonna get it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, Die. No, you're not the predator, bud. He is. Psalm is a predator. Another one's going to be right in front of him. Some defense coming through here, but what are you going to be able to do when you're just good Lord, dude. through the structures and Uzi falls to the infinity blade? <laughs> just breaking all of it? Looking to break the structures that are connecting these high ground players so he can pick up more elims too from the fall damage. Going to get another one here. He's going to be. Yeah, he's just going to get fall damage though. kills, right? He can jump anywhere he needs to be right now. He's, he's just collecting mats too. There's still 20 people left. Oh my god. It's John Wick, but with a sword. It's John Snow. Dude, everybody's just falling from the sky. He's healing in the middle of all this. He is jumping on every single player here. How do you cast? Oh, he might die. Finally. No way he doesn't win. That's embarrassing. You lost. <laughs> oh my god. Actually choked that. Wait, the sword dropped. <laughs> Finally. Pick it up. Get the sword. When looking at the leaderboards Man. off the day... He definitely won that points-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a point per eliminate... Oh, my God. Look at that. Good God. It's not even close. Oh, dude. This is Coney after he discovered you could jump attack in Elden Ring. Literally me. That's me as I fought Horalu. I got all the way to the end. I was like, dude, everybody's talking about jump R2. Let me try this. And then it, it was like my eyes opened for the first time. 
God, I'm so sad. Elden Ring was so good, but also so bad. It's tragic. I had so much fun, but it was so easy when you start doing, like, the jumping R2s. It's like, the game becomes too easy at that point. It's, oh, man. What a shitty game at the end. Ugh. One, it was not difficult to see that going into grand finals, this new item was going to be a major issue. Tyler did not stand a chance there, and he drops down. Oh my God! Who's got so the sword? Damage. He will have that slurp if he needs to use it. Ah, found the sword. Found the sword. Chop him down. Boosh! <laughs> this rules, dude. I don't care. This is amazing. While the sword was wreaking havoc on the low ground, the sky was not without its own issues. When players began to realize that one of the safest and most consistent ways to make it to endgame was to utilize the planes. This is Fortnite, guys. <laughs> this is Fortnite. This is Fortnite in the current meta. We are doing Morse code in planes in the air. <laughs> we are giving each other Morse code to be friendly in a solo battle royale match. That's, dude, this is just innovation. This is human progress. It's actually so beautiful to watch. It's amazing to see everybody deride this and say it's so shitty. This is literally what separates us from the animals. This is what apes had to do to make sure they wouldn't kill each other. Someone explain how this is possible. I'm doing Morse code with one, two, three of our planes so that we're friendly. We are, we are shooting and then that... The football anthem. What is a BR game? Is this a BR game? Is it? Amazing. Like, what is happening? This rules. Even though not all players were being so blatantly obvious with their intentions, it would still be very <laughs> awkward for the casters who would be forced to try and commentate this newfound strategy. I've been that caster. I've I've commentated Bayonetta. It's you know what? I actually love it. <laughs> Because it's my job to shitpost on comms. I get to shitpost on comms. And everybody knows it's bullshit, but I don't care. I get to be like, wow, what an excellent maneuver. Such a fantastic choice they made there in popping witch time, which will kill the opponent at 0%. <laughs> it's not fair, but you know, you both signed up to play this game. You get to have a lot of fun commentating those matches. What a hard read, thinking that he would punch the opponent. Yeah. Wait, Aiden just killing everyone he <laughs> sees, dude? Saw him in the sky. He got They're not he's fighting. They're f***ing around, you idiots. Yeah, saw him or previous. <laughs> oh, the casters have to pretend. each other on purpose. Because they're truce. Terrible aim. Terrible oh, aim from these uh, <laughs> pilots here. The winner of match one. Can he <laughs> Again, I've been this caster. I've casted events where the internet goes out, and you have to be like, whoa, guess somebody hit their switch. <laughs> Uh-oh, whoops. You have to, you have to commentate. Uh, I, I've had to commentate before a top player fucking around in a professional setting. Like, they clearly didn't care. And usually at a tournament, I'll be like, okay, well, you know, he's he knows the game is over. It doesn't matter. But if I'm, like, working an actual event, I have to, like, make it sound like this is a... Like, they're still going at full steam. I've been these casters before. It's a fun job. <laughs> they're teaming! The Bayonetta stalling with guns. <laughs> Thank God I wasn't on top eight for that. Although, TK and EE just immediately called You bots! I don't really care. He's pressuring other players at the same time. Oh, my God! <laughs> This is amazing. I love this dude. <laughs> On it. Wow. These guys really have bad aim. Okay. Uh, they're trying to kill. Oh. Woo. Must be a lot of lag. Wow. Something's going on with these planes. This is so intense. That's right. The plane pressure. <laughs> we have had a lot of bad tournaments in Fortnite's history. I legit can't run. He can't run. Oh my god! <laughs> Everybody's glitching in the matrix! 
I it's turn really based. Think... Everybody like picks a move and then waits and then it has to calculate. It's like you're playing Civilization. Video on a bad note. Even in the That's worst great. tournaments, there are always positives, and Nolan's family's reaction to him winning is still to this day one of my all-time favorite moments in Fortnite. On a dare this weekend. Crazy. Number one. Oh my goodness. It literally Bro, this is the most embarrassing thing. You have to cast from a fucking Fortnite crate? That's way more embarrassing than pretending the rest of it is competitive. I'm here from my little Fortnite box. This costs 30 mats to build. A 16-year-old just won $1 million, and I'm being paid $500 to sit in a little wooden box. <laughs> we came from the last game. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Congratulations to your Witcher Royale winner. It is Nolan. Yeah! yeah! See, this is what I'm talking about, bro. This rules. This is cool. We need more tournaments like that, man. Tournament ruined by cheaters. Why was everybody cheating? Wait. Wait a minute. Might get sucked into the vortex. Was everybody cheating? We have to. I kind of like this channel. I'm a fan. I have zero interest in playing Fortnite or, like, casting it, but it is fascinating. Truly. See, I, I genuinely, like, this isn't even a bit, bro. Like, if Epic just throws this obscene amount of money to these games and constantly changes the rules and constantly has new winners, who cares, man? The whole point of Fortnite is supposed to be about, like, casting the widest net possible. Just making everybody feel included and a part of this universe. And I think it is, it, it is really, it's part of the ideals of Fortnite to just... Have that be the case, bro. I feel like that's the point of the game, right? Also, to make a lot of money. And that's good, too. Because everybody could win. Calm down, Aristotle. <laughs> I'm just saying Fortnite fundamentally, philosophically speaking, is about everybody having fun and building. It's the joy of creation, right? That's why building is at the core of it. It's a big sandbox. And everybody should be allowed to play. And maybe a 17-year-old can win a million dollars. I think that's beautiful. Coney really on his video essay bullshit. And if you enjoyed this, my, my, my video essay, my rant, please consider subscribing to the Twitch. I'm at 2691. I've been decaying all fucking night. If you got a prime, just check out below. Help me out. I only need nine more to hit 2700. Just think about it, you know? I'd appreciate it. Thanks. All right, I gotta watch this cheating video. I have to see it. Did they remove building? Uh, only in a side mode. G'day, mate. In today's video, I'm not even doing an intro. I'm I'm just jumping straight into it because this has been one of the most hilarious and ridiculous tournaments I've ever watched on Fortnite, and I just covered I can't the wait. Twitch Rivals I can't tournament wait. yesterday. This Thanks, is Squid Boy. The Thank you, Grassy Dino. No Building Cup, and you've probably seen some clips or heard about this, but in case you haven't, this has been the worst tournament ever. And I just said that yesterday, but in, once I go through <laughs> this, you're every agree. video okay. is the worst so tournament ever. We have the PlayStation Cup that is now no building. This is one of the only console cups that we get in the entire season. Wait. No building, is this new? Oh shit, April 9th, this is the worst tournament. They made it no building. Just People happened. already incredibly upset. Aussie antics, this is Pete Coney bait. You think that's me? That He's wearing a hat. I had glasses. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You think I set up a new YouTube channel? And got 291,000 people to subscribe. <laughs> Set up my own content to react to. The perfect crime. But this was going to be our first look at how no building was going to go in, an, in a real competitive tournament. I'm not talking like content creators in squads or like Twitch rivals, any of that craziness. An actual competitive tournament where anyone who is competitive can play. And it has been an absolute joke. It has been just... I'm going to show you one of the clips right now okay, to yeah. sum up how the average end game looked. And you tell me Please if do. you can spot the problem. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's Mad Max! <laughs> Everybody's going car to car? 
Hop in the whip! Que no, que no hay hueco. Sorry, tío. <laughs> Are these two even on teams? Are you just chilling in the back of the Uber with somebody that you're gonna kill soon? Mira, 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 mira. It's no. so lows. You can probably see the problem here. That no rules. one is fighting. There are just groups of four different people sitting in the same car, repair torching the car because they don't want to get in, get out and fight because since they can't build, <laughs> this is the best way to get places. You're probably thinking, I just picked one obscure clip to make it look bad. No, this isn't even the only clip. There are so many clips out there. I'm going to show you Destiny Jesus VOD reviewing how one of the Dude, early games went. I just had an idea for Ludwig Mondays. If I get in another one of those, <laughs> I'm hopping in the fucking car, bro. Nesua, Nesua, follow me. <laughs> I found, <laughs> I, have a, I have an idea. <laughs> I'm the repair torch guy because I can't shoot for shit. I'll be the driver and the repair torch guy. Hop in the whip. <laughs> Cars only. I'm the driver. I'm baby driver in that scenario. Lord knows I can't shoot a gun, but, you know, I'm, I'm sick behind the wheel. <laughs> I'm role-playing a mechanic. Dude, that's a sick idea. Oh, I need to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Next, next level week tournament, I'm doing it. Quick little video of who's won this Middle Eastern solo tournament today. It's happening. It's actually no build, so it's quite interesting to borrow you. I'm just from. playing as AAA. Really <laughs> He's just loosing up this building. And then we're going to see his boy, Vools, just casually with some shots on him. It's completely fine. Next guy comes over in a Lamborghini. Pretty bad day at the office for him, as you can see. He gets absolutely railed by the tank, which is really good in this. And then Hippo runs over. Doesn't get shot at at all while running in the open, not being able to build. And then just tag team his next kid. Um, pretty interesting stuff from these guys so far. So are they teaming? And then after this, these guys decide to come over here, um, get the loot together, of course. Just you and your They made an alliance, yeah. Is that allowed in Fortnite? Because I know some games that, like, say if they suspect an alliance, if there isn't supposed to be one. I mean, I, I assume so. Oh, no, you're not allowed to. How do you even detect that? I was in a couple Fall Guys tournaments, and they said you couldn't do that. And it's like, how do you know? Right? How do you even... Game... Uh, I mean, like, this is obvious because he's not shooting him when he's standing right there, but... You can get banned for it? That's such a difficult thing to tell. Actually, no, I guess not. You could say that if somebody was in your sphere of influence... Like, if somebody is inside your zone for, like, 20 minutes and you didn't do X amount of damage or something, then it's clear that you teamed, right? There's a way to prove it. You know how they catch you uh, being a smurf in League? And I know this because they won't leave me the fuck alone. It's how often you click. Like, to go to lane. If you click, like, a hundred times just to walk to your lane, they're like, oh, this guy's a smurf. This guy plays a lot. But if you click one time to go to mid lane, they're like, this guy sucks. <laughs> That's so smart, dude. Very intelligent. Um, don't shoot each other at all. They also have a queue. I know. I'm in it on every fucking account. And then at this point, Not it's, a fun. Bit, it's a little bit interesting what happens. I want to play Shaco mid. They actually have a really good strategy. Stop putting me up against a one-trick Ari. Come over here, and they make sure to fully fuel up their tank, as you can see. Don't shoot each other at all. It's all right, guys. Um, Fill her up! <laughs> and fuel up the tank, and then from here on out, Vuls actually wins the whole tourney and gets first place. <laughs> this shit look like Mass Effect. What? Wait, so they get up here and start shooting, and then everyone just panics because literally no one else it's is It's like fighting. roaches. Wait, what? It's like bugs when you lift the rock. Wait, this is actually how the tournament was being played. Everybody's just hoping that nobody sees them in the car. This is solos. This it's is a Mad solo Max. tournament. This is a solo tournament. <laughs> it's just yeah, cars TK wasn't literally. kidding. He's literally just pulling up and parking in front of people and killing. That guy got fucking ronied. Yeah, TK wasn't kidding. He's literally just pulling up. Ready? Up and yup. <laughs> in front of people and killing. Dude, this rules. I mean, good on TK for not just straight up teaming, but like, I mean, this is technically more teaming than what they're If doing, I was on the Fortnite marketing team, I would reach out to Warner Brothers and Mad Max immediately. Lean He's into repairing it. repairing the car and the other guy isn't shooting him. 
This is solos. It kills me that you had to pop out of the car to fix it. I mean, like, yeah, it's normal. Him. But it's just a dude just coming out. <laughs> oh. This is solos. This rules, dude. This fucking rules. This is a solo tournament. Flip the car, There's hop back in. There's probably people out there who are going to argue that what TK did was even worse. He's actually using the people in the back to eliminate other players. He's teaming and cheating. But how can we like how can we draw the line here on which part of this is cheating and teaming and what isn't? We can't, we have players we can't do really anything. Coordinating in tanks because it's more efficient. Can't do to anything use about it. Sorry, bro. It's funny. So you got to allow people it. People who just mm, so happen sorry. to be in a car sorry, and sweetie. don't want to shoot because if they shoot, it's more likely they're going to die. And in a battle royale, especially for money, you want to place higher. But then all of them are obviously, you know, they have an idea of what they're doing <laughs> is, you know, possibly teaming. Again, I'm not going to call them cheaters. I don't think these people should be banned because in fortnite that's a battle royale it's really really hard to define what's teaming and cheating and damn two weeks and what isn't some things you clearly have an idea about right what's well, like, competitive two people play. have coordinated Who what cares? they're going to do on spawn they're agreeing not to fight and teenagers discover opponent, game theory for the first time other. but right now in the hey, no build game mode especially in solos in a tournament for so much money these guys are just trying to make it to end game and this strategy is the best way to do it even if they haven't coordinated right but at the same time it just I shows mean, a uh... massive hole in the competitive no build game mode that is leading to players doing this I, again, I, it sucks for the event owners and for the people running it. And I guess for the players, too, who don't want to play that way. But at the same time, like, I don't know. I'm fine with Fortnite. Ha again, I don't know why I'm saying I'm fine. I'm not playing the fucking game. I'm watching a YouTube video about this, happen this thing that happened two weeks ago. I didn't even know about it. I just love that there's a new thing that breaks the game constantly. I love that because it's not like in league where it's like one champion is like at the center of the game for a while. It's just like, yeah, we have cars this week and they're a big problem. Oh, last week there was a sword <laughs> and that sword was like really strong. Thanos showed up for a little while. He was really good. Uh, some people are flying planes. It feels like it feels like the, the, the difference between World War One and World War Two. You know what I mean? Like, in World War One, they were like, bro, we gotta ban this gas. This mustard gas is so cringe. Everybody's just hiding in these trenches, and my feet are getting wet. And World War Two is like, dude, stop using those guns! <laughs> those guns are too fucking strong, man! You know? I feel like, I feel like every World War, you're gonna have new shit. If we look at the building game mode we've obviously understood and defined that yeah they banned that for world war ii yeah if see you're in a box next to someone you don't need surge your health analogy game is on point see i thought you, know, you get it you get what i'm saying game. just 10th grade history understanding of world war one hey i know they fought in trenches and it took a really long time and franz ferdinand got shot and the Germans were the bad guys, as per usual. Because you're not jumping in and killing them doesn't mean you're teaming. But obviously, when you get in a car together, that Wait, makes where's the Germans the bet? Yeah. Makes it a step worse. And then when you're <laughs> repair tooling the car, and the other person isn't. And they got they had a very nice Christmas. They had a very nice Christmas. Yeah. That chance to try to kill you, it all gets a little bit messy. And I don't want to be the person out here trying to witch hunt and saying that this guy <laughs> should be banned, that guy should be banned. No, 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 guys, I didn't mean we're the Germans, the bad guys. Like I. I'm not siding with them. I'm saying, I, I didn't mean like that. I was saying, were they the bad guys? Were, were, I couldn't remember which side they were on. Because remember, Italy. wasn't it, We were cool with Italy, and then Italy was bad the second time. Right? Remember? Were they the country? <laughs> you get what, Why did the viewers go up? Guys, if you're here for the first time, uh, we're watching a funny Fortnite video. <laughs> Welcome. You know, the PlayStation community should feel <laughs> terrible. I just think it's a really, really bad combination of taking one of the very few they were not on. They were on the not American side. Yeah, we were the good side. No We've always been the good side. Have been That's why they called us the allies. Because we're friends. Whether it's to buy a PC or just to prove they're Everybody's a really good console friends. player. And then you take the building element away. They're going to try their best to make money. And they're going to use tactics in a game mode that isn't as competitive to try to increase that skill gap. This dude and is make explaining. It it's I just, love this guy. If we have no building tournaments they need to be team game modes if this would not happen in duos trios or squads i still think no building is better catered towards the big Woo! content creator tournaments that are for that battle pass i just shit out my ass wounded up my 
because I need, need to get that Fortnite battle pass. That was good. Hot new preview of the new M album. Good shit. I like that. By the way, if you guys always, if you guys ever do like uh, a capital letters like PC, you got to put a space in between them. I, that's one thing that I'm noticing. Thanks, M. Are a bit more casual, but a bit. That's an awfully hot battle pass. <laughs> That's pretty good. Fun. You got the big names in there. <laughs> I think it shows why no building is, is never really going to replace competitive. It's never going to become the competitive game mode because it's just not as competitive. There's giant holes in how the game is played. Dude, no building are too sucks end game to do anything. If so you actually play Fortnite. If, if you don't out, play Fortnite, no, no building fucking themselves. rules. There's no real items to defend themselves properly. And the it would be like Smash with no C-sticks. I'm not saying that means Well, no, actually, that's no not true. I was thinking because... Uh, Competitive players use C-Sticks to uh, do aerials, but casuals do C-Sticks to smash attack, so there you go. Build game mode. I think Thanks, DM Megzi. No build game mode as just fun, casual, you know, games is what Smash with walk-offs? That one really might be better, yeah. big content creators play it because everyone loves watching it, but I don't think it should go down this cash cup route of taking competitive tournaments. Dude, I should do a video on CPU, the Rob player. I feel like a lot of people don't know that Smash history. Oh my god. No more Smash videos? Fuck you. <laughs> you know how much money we get out of those? Come on. I'm trying to feed Vince. Please do a CPU video. So the story is I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the whole thing. Um I I I'll I'll give you the short version. Uh the CPU story is Brawl had one Evo tournament, I think. PG stats vid topic. You better not steal that shit. Brawl had one tournament at Evo. And the winner was a kid named CPU. It was like his first or second tournament. And he was playing Rob. And he fought Ken in finals. Like the Ken. The Ken and he beat him. And the tournament had items on. And was wacky stages. And he got so much hate that he stopped playing the game. Because everybody said he didn't deserve to win. And they were mad at Evo for doing that tournament. Shit's crazy. It's a wild story. I would have to do a lot more research for that because I wasn't around for it. And that seems kind of cringe. <laughs> I'd rather just tell a story of me being there. So maybe I won't do that because that would take effort. Uh, unless somebody wants to write the script. Go ahead and DM me. <laughs> I'll take all the money. Thanks. And making them no building. But let me know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down I think below. it's based, I'm bro. I'm genuinely curious to hear it. I, also I think that rules. Very clear. There were a lot of people. A scary Work with us on it. Yeah, actually, yeah, we'll do a PG stats thing, but it goes on my channel. Straight up <laughs> teaming and pretty much I get it, I get it, I teaming, get it. even going so far as to on Twitter claim drop spots and at the person who's also dropping there as their teammate. And when they get called out or oh, it's a solos event, they're like, yeah, I know, but we're both going here. Don't contest. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We're going to team on you, right? Like it is a really bad thing. And it's why as much as I love solo you competitive, can't stop I think it's it. so exciting and so fun to watch it is ultimately the worst game mode for competitive because it has okay. the biggest issues yeah there's no way to stop that who paid bank you me one ban and i'm nowhere was that was that minions Oh, I get it. Drops. I don't want to witch hunt. Hey, congrats I don't want to use NFT, my bro. channel to make videos calling people out and saying they should get banned and we should cancel them and you should hate them. It's just not what I do. That's why I haven't made really any Heard those minions about were that. saying some foul things. And if it is things. talking about a specific person, it's after they've already Truly. been punished and I'm just covering it. I don't want to be the one trying to is get them banned. Is Eminem okay? So I think so. you guys add me on Twitter, I, so. I get it. You just, you know, you want to make the game better, but it's just not what I want to use my platform for. What do, so the, what do the creator codes even do in Fortnite? Do they get money for that? Not what I want to use my my platform for so i apologize if those are the kind of videos you want i hate I looking at fortnite yeah i'm getting a headache a bit of a laugh at it i'm not you trying get to get people banned okay. but i do think epic needs to do something about this oh just when we're having a bit of a laugh i had to throw this clip in here because i thought it was just too great this All is right, how show me the laugh. console tournament went i might have a laugh what the shark got in the truck and then the truck flew away and then he jumped out of the truck and he went into the gas and now On he's the dead. Topic of solos, though, we do have the solo cash. I fucking love this game. How could anybody hate this game? Cups kicking off today. This I will game be doing fucking a rules, party on my Twitch dude. channel, twitch.tv The gas, you're old. Is that not gas? The storm. Is that what you want me to say? It's fucking gas, bro. Look at it. Look at that. Clouds? 
On the topic of solos, though, Stupid. we do have the solo cash cup. It kills you slowly. Today. I will be doing a viewing party on my Twitch it's channel. It's gas. Thank you. Twitch.tv slash Aussie Antics for the NA East and NA West teams. <laughs> Why are you lurking here? Just for me to fuck up once. Huh? Sorry, I never learned clouds were gas. Yeah, you're going to learn that in sixth grade, you fucking child. How about you learn your colors first, and then we'll move on to nebulous clouds and shit, okay? A little bit too early for me. I Jesus might watch Christ. the finals. I will definitely be watching the finals for NA East and NA West, though. And I know I just obviously said solos is the worst game mode, but I feel like cash cups and especially the set lobby cash cups. Coney, aren't... name more than three clouds. Nimbulous? Nimbus. <laughs> is Nimbulus a cloud? I'm pretty sure that's a Harry Potter spell. Nimbus? Cumulus? <laughs> uh, and... <laughs> trampolining? N Nimbus Cloud? Cumulus Cloud? And a Rain Cloud? How about that? How many clouds are there? Ten cloud types. Cirrus, Stratus, Cumulus, got that one. Nimbus, got that one. Oh, this is cringe. It's just adding prefixes. Cirrus, Stratus, uh, Cumulus, Nimbus. Those four. Got it. I mean, I you know, there are only four to pick from, and I got two of them. Not bad. Anywhere near as bad as what the FNCS solos used to Mushroom be. Mushroom cloud. With big oh, God. Money and you knew who was going to make it. That's when the teaming really kicked off. The cash cups isn't anywhere near as bad. But either way, it's opens today. It's going to be a good time to watch. It's going to be our first cloud adult stack <laughs> solos in Chapter 3. Big season cloud fan. Two. There's no more Spider-Man. What type of clouds are the Fortnite clouds? Gas clouds, bro. You get to see how shit hurts. Gonna rotate, how they're gonna Gas play, comes down from the sky. By the Spider Man, it's gonna be interesting. Make sure you don't miss it. What was he saying about Spider Man? What the fuck? Chapter three, season two. There's no more Spider Man, so we get to see no how more Spider Man. Rotate, how they're gonna play and who was just getting no! carried by the Spider Man. It's gonna be interesting. Make sure you don't miss it. <laughs> no more Spider Man. All right, guys, that does it for another video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I love this channel. This guy rules. I'm gonna find more of his stuff. I gotta find more Fortnite posting. That's pretty good. I'm a fan of this guy. Sure, Vince, can we put this on YouTube, bro? It's Fortnite. Surely we could make this work. <laughs> I fucking love this. Come on. The worst first Fortnite tournament ever? Come on. We can make it work. The guy might get mad. Oh, shit. That's true. I don't want him getting mad. That's a good point. I don't... Yeah, he's not like a... Well, the thing is, he's actually really bigger on Twitch. He's got like 4K uh, viewers usually, I think. But he's only got 73K on this. Not that that's a low number or anything, but, you know, it's not as high as you would think. Aussies do get mad, though. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do it. He's live. Rate him after you end. Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely. I'll do that. I would love that. But first, I have to tell Welcome you all about fan-controlled football as soon as it starts tracking, and it's been better about that. Guys, fan-controlled football is like, it's like Twitch plays Pokemon meets Madden, and I'm going to tell you all about it as soon as it starts tracking. Don't leave. I'm not. It's only a, it's only a little bit. It's only a little bit. It's not tracking yet. I'm getting kind of upset. Guys, wait till you see it, bro. Wait till you see the, the fan control football. You're not going to play. Guys, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Please. Please, 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 please. Please don't leave. They're doing the thing again where it's not tracking right away. Please, just stay here for a second. Just for a second. <laughs> Guys, it's Pokemon. It's Twitch fan plays Pokemon, but it's football. Everything you need to know about Guys, the here are the basics. Check it out. Oh, You get to you control the, the action. Team, you pick the, the players, team, draft the players, call the, plays call the plays. Time. From an app on your phone, tablet, or computer. Great fan call. Running. You can do run. anything. FCF is 50 yards of hard hitting, real smash 50 mouth yards. football. That shit kind of no sounds kind of small. No punts, no goalposts, no kickers. I'm talking in your face. I thought we liked seven action okay. that you kind of seems like we're dumping on kickers. And it all happens live on Twitch, the Zone, and NBCLX from our bro. That shit's on NBC from the state, state of the, of the art, art facility. ATL. 
Come on, don't you want to pick how your favorite football games are played? You can register and join a team just by going to fcf.io slash teams. Look at these teams. Who do you like? The Beast? The Glacier Boys? The Zappers? Look at all these choices. Maybe the... Oh my god. The Board Ape Football Club? Huh? Up top? Any board ape fans? Pretty Four cool. Brand new teams controlled exclusively by NFT avatars. Oh man! Available All at right. FCF.io/ballers. Uh, yeah. FCF.io/ballers. Live action and real players meet web. You guys know. Look at that. You get you get the the customized players. Web 3.0 so players, bro. Begin. Check it's that out. OGs versus, versus the, ballers. the ballers. Who do you like, bro? Which celebrity ownership group will you squad up I'll with? I'll let you know. Who's on the, the team? Aiden Ross, Richard Sherman, and Quavo on on the Glacier Boys. Okay. What a team. Boys or team mm. pins? <laughs> Bunch of BoJack Horseman characters on the Kingpins. Oh, you know I love Jam the Dirty Bird. You know I love Jam the Dirty Bird. I'm a Kingpin fan, bro. That's my guy right there. How That's about my guy. Drew, Drew, wait, I've seen that guy. Drusky, Drewski, I've only seen it written down. Stars. Well, they Damn, Knights got a s roster. What the fuck? Why does Knights have 10 players? The Knights. The Beast. Rusev? That's Rusev from the fucking wrestling. What the fuck? Marshawn Lynch? Or Board Apes. <laughs> Not the monkeys! Oh, Yo! The team Aoki win it all. Steve Aoki and a monkey are on a team? Oh. Yo! The That's of my team right there. Control. Steve Aoki and the monkey. Control That's the my guy, bro. Call the plays. Oh! Be part of Sports Revolution. Guys, you can be part of the Sports football. Revolution. Check it out, fcf.io. So FCF and your don't team pick Steve and Aoki and the monkey, because that's my team. What a diabolical combination those two are. Now. Fan controlled football. It's like Twitch plays Pokemon meets Madden. You guys should check it out. There's a players page and everything. We'll go ahead and go over it really quickly. Man, big fan. <laughs> okay, I stopped tracking, but I have to see this. These are all the players. Okay. I didn't know they were NFTs. <laughs> Wait, what are the standings, bro? How are we how are we doing here? What are the stats? Damn, Board Ape is cleaning up. Board Ape going crazy. Are you contracted to say it's like Twitch plays Pokemon and Madden? That's one of the things that they said. Yeah, you have control over what happens in the game. <laughs> Incredible. Yahoo! Amazing. Hey, if you guys like it, check it out. Twitch.tv slash FCS. I fucked it up. Good thing I wasn't I wasn't I, I wasn't still tracking. Hey, if you like it, check it out. Twitch.tv slash FCF. Check it out at FCF.io. <laughs> Leave this in for YouTube. See how they like it? No. No, I'm not going to do that. All right. Uh, I'm going to bed. Aussie Antics is live, and we really liked his movie. So I am going to go ahead and raid that fellow. Probably early for him right now. He's playing Sea of Thieves. Currently doing PvP. All right. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing some fun stuff. So show up tomorrow. Um, it'll be a good time. Yeah. And then we're going to do wheel champ or at least start off wheel champ and do some other stuff. Give me the 1k raid guys. You guys uh, uh, sign up for the raid because then it means that you get more points and we're going to do salty bet again soon. Maybe I might do it. Raid message is L. Don't do that. Don't get me in trouble. Don't get me in trouble. Wheel champ is on Sunday. We're spinning the wheel tomorrow to get the theme. So yeah. All right, uh, I'll see you guys. I'm raiding. God bless you. Everybody raid. You get more points, more coney coins, and who knows? Maybe you can move into my house one day. Thank you guys for uh, stopping by. I had a really fun time tonight. This is a fun stream. We only got to do one of the things, but, you know, we'll see. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.